Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. Accustats Video Productions is pleased to welcome you to the 2017 Accustats Make It Happen Straight Pool Invitational. Thank you, thank you very much. We're coming to you as we always do from the Aramis Simonis Arena here at Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey, the home of Accustats and the birthplace of the Make It Happen series. Six of the best players in the world have assembled here once again to compete in the Make It Happen series, which is a round robin format. And for these uh, Make It Happen number 12, we're playing straight pool, 150 point games. The winner of each match gets $1,000. Once we complete the round robin play tomorrow following our 7 p.m. match, the players with the two best overall records will then compete for the championship and an additional $1,000. It's still in doubt who those players are gonna be. We've been treated to some great high runs. We've already seen a 150 and out today by Dennis Orcuyo, and I think we got a couple of guys here that would like to match that, so hopefully they will, and we can be treated to some more great straight pool. Also want to recognize once again our great three sponsors that have been with us for so many years, Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis, and Aramith. Their contributions have helped us put these events on, and we want to again thank them for their continued support of AccuStats and of Professional Pool. I'd like to take one brief moment uh, to also recognize the terrific staff here at Sandcastle. Ed Ladawi and his crew have served us so well as they always do. They make us feel like family and we are family here at Sandcastle and at the Make It Happen series. Most importantly is each and every one of you that have been supporting us by watching out there or coming here to watch us live in person. And I've said it many times and I'm gonna keep saying it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much from all of us for once again, making it happen. Atta, let it go. Okay, this will be the final match of the evening session. This is match number 12. Now my pleasure to introduce our two competitors. From Trinity, Florida, this gentleman has a BCA Open nine ball title to his credit along with a Turning Stone nine ball title. He has a high run of 228, sponsored by Miyuchi and the School of Pool. Would you kindly welcome the Prince of Pool, Corey Duell. His opponent is originally from Pontefract, West Yorkshire, in the United Kingdom. He resides now in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This gentleman's long resume includes world titles in both 10-ball and 9-ball. He's got a two-time U.S. Open 9-ball champion as well. And I don't think it's any secret now that in just a few short weeks at this year's Moscone Cup, he's going to be the newest member of the BCA Hall of Fame. He's sponsored by Rass and Tables, Predator, and Checchio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dynamite, Darren Appleton. All right, good luck, gentlemen. Your referee for this match is Mr. Carswell Ransom. Official timekeeper is Julie Ha. Official photographer is Carl Kantrowitz. My pleasure at this time to send it over to our host, Double J, Jeremy Jones, and our own Hall of Famer, Danny DiLiberto. Go ahead, guys. Well, thank you, Kenny, and welcome again, everyone, to the 2017 Make It Happen Straight Pool Invitational. We're here in Edison, New Jersey. I'm Jeremy Jones with AccuStat Video Productions, and, and uh, once again, joined by Hall of Famer Danny DiLiberto. How you doing, Danny? I'm doing all right. I mean, I'm enjoying all this great straight pool. Yeah, some high runs the last two days. Yeah, they got seen, in gear. Yeah, they sure did. They came to play. And you think Corey's sweating it now, have to, having to break the balls the way everybody's been playing? Well, he's two and one, so he's in the mix. Forget the players. Play your game. Yeah, and I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They can't beat you if you keep them in the chair. No, you just got to do what, what you, what's in front of you, and Corey's just going to, oh, it looks like a solid break here. This might be the best break yet. Besides being dead froze on the rail, he repositioned the rack. I mean, don't get me wrong, Jason Shaw might have already been shooting at the two. I don't think you, you're supposed to. Well, you to remember shoot. the one he made earlier? Off of, yeah. Oh, wow. It was yeah. just incredible. I don't think you're supposed to shoot. He's edging. Looks like he's edging the side of the rack trying to run the cue ball. Oh, wow. What a hit. Great shot. What a hit. That makes sense. Shooting the two is like betting the game already. Yeah, and if uh, it's the type of shot, if you were to miss it, it was, like, understandable. That's how tough it is. 
He's in a tough spot here, though. Do you edge the two ball here, Danny? Looks well, it looks like you could, but if you hit it too full, you could go in the pocket. In, in two full, it's only like a hair. All right, Corey's looking for, uh, he's looking for a dead one, a wired one. Well, I don't see any. Well, he's, he's, he's pretty crafty. He's a I tough don't. guy playing one pocket just because of that. Yeah, I don't see a dead one. What did he call? I believe the eight. I think he thinks it's going to carry him off the bottom of the 14. He's going to get out of I, I'm not sure what, even with which ball. Pay attention. Maybe the combination, five, six. Wow, great shot. Great shot is right. And then uh, He just, found a dead one. Yeah, just earlier we were in between the matches, a few of us were discussing out of all six players, who do you think spent the most time just setting up stuff that doesn't come up that often, but when it does, uh, you know, you want to be uh, know how to get to it and hit it. And, uh, it's a lifesaver. Yeah, the first person I asked, they said Corey Duell, and I said I, told, I totally agree. Not only does he play very solid when it comes to making decisions, but when he gets in a situation. Where are you he going? Can, yeah, he's going to have to make a nice little shot either on the one or the two here. He's got the two, but there's no bargain. The I, one goes all the way down. I, That's probably the easier shot. I totally agree. I like the one. That angle there, you got to, you know. They're Automatic not, position also. Yeah, that and the, and the pocket's, you know, decent size from that angle. And you can hit it at a medium speed that makes it even bigger. Oh, wow. Oh, he shot it right into the 14. Yeah, just a real short stroke. Uh, he shortened his stroke when he changed his style. But what that one, shame. yeah, that one was even a little bit shorter. After he picked the eight out, yeah. could have got going. And that's what Darren's going to, those exact words, just get going. Balls are laying pretty nice. He'll have a chance to open. Anything you like right off the off the bat to open those balls with? Well, Maybe Darren, that two in the side? No. Yeah, Darren's got two losses, and one of them is he got blanked. So he could win this. He's still in trouble. He wins his next two. Yeah, what Danny's saying is he's going to need some help. He's going to need somebody here in uh, some of the early matches tomorrow to have some probably decisive wins. But first thing first, he's got to he's got to win here. He got, may have gotten a little funny here if he can't get out that seven. Got the five in the side. I don't know how what a bargain that is. Oh, I like that. Well, he's a little elevated, but I still like it unless the seven's just wide open. But the, even the seven, you got to. You're funny because you can't hold for the four. I think he can go one rail to the ten. Yeah, and he did that. And he. Oh. Yeah. He hit a few balls on the way, but he's got it. He's got it, and he can he can hold for the four then and just come up on a number of balls, it looks yeah. like. They're all open now. Yeah, I don't think he has to do anything but knock the ten in and hold for the – he could hold for the uh, four, come straight up and shoot the deuce in the corner, and, and then the five opens for everything. But he's going to do it a little differently. He's going to come above the balls. There's nothing wrong with that because there's a lot of choices. Yeah, the 12 looks like a decent break shot. I really like it. I like that ball. Nice well, shot you there. Well, the three a break shot also. And now you really need to get to that 10 and 4, don't you? Yeah, get them out of the way. They're just in the way period I, I i think you just use the 12 for sure and just pick the three off now and then shoot the 10 and all those and then you can use the nine and two to get on the break but this is okay i didn't know he had the exact angle to draw it without contacting the three just get it a little off the rail with a little angle huh yeah you gotta have an angle he's got it he won the world straight pool title and ran 200 balls. First time ever done in a world tournament. 
But he hasn't been playing that well of late. Well, he's been a busy man with his new uh, the WPS Whirlpool Series. And yeah, that's a pretty good angle, and he can hold his ball. Perfect. Just pay attention to making the ball, that's all. Put a good stroke on it. Don't let up. Put a little dig on the cue ball, a little bottom. Nice stroke. Very good. He's another one that doesn't baby break shots. No, he, we've seen him several times uh, draw his ball back up table and, and to the end rail, the top rail, and all the way back down. Not all the way back down, but back into play. But for the most... Yeah, let's watch Corey Duell shot again. He made a great eight ball. The, he hits the 12, yeah. That's, that's, wow, he kisses both of them to get the bottom of the eight and then throw it in off, I think, the 14 ball. Wow, what a shot. Okay, he played that one pretty controlled. He got, yeah, he didn't whack it. No, and he's... I think he can get at the 15. Yeah, he's got the 15. Okay, Definitely got the 15. Nothing wrong with coming up and bumping the 13 just a little bit, just to guarantee that shot on. Okay, he went into the four. That's all right, too. Four is a good break shot. I know people out there might be confused. Break shot, he's got a bunch of balls yet. But that's how these players play. They got to pick out a break shot and run the balls around them. Now, is he going to hold for the 13? No, okay. He's got the 14. I like doing that. And then yeah. you can run through right through the nice side of the 7 and the 1. And the 12 the, you know, is your insurance ball. Yeah, he's talking about the 13, yeah. and then the, But the it's 3 the and 13. the 2 the okay. three and the two are going to open nicely also. I'll get the colors. Yeah, whoa. Okay. He's got the 13. Yeah, he'll probably just pick off the 2 just because it's just definitely not missable. And it, I mean, you're saving it, but you got the 10 and the 6 also to save for the break ball. So I don't take a chance on missing here myself unless I feel like I can't gain position. But maybe that sounds a little bad on taking a chance. And he almost, almost tied a couple of them up, but he's all right. Has he got a shot? Okay. Too bad the one's in the way. You know, he could have got to the seven. Well, I think he would have shot the two like I was talking about, but he was kind of falling funny on the ten and the six, and he couldn't. He didn't. He didn't want to shoot one of the nine, the nine or the four away. So, consequently, he had to. But this one's hardly missable with the ten there. That's one good thing. Well, Dennis Arcola ran 150 today, and Darren was his victim. Yeah, incredible shooting by Dennis. And Dennis, uh, Dennis being two and two, and if Darren goes on to win here and have a chance to win in his next match tomorrow, you know, that would be part of the equation on which one of those get through maybe because our Dennis uh, like I said two and two he'll play a seven o'clock match tomorrow right before the finals against Jason Shaw who is also three and one so yeah, he's going to get to the one I believe got to get the one out of there because then the seven goes yeah it's got a little funny here just because the four is just, you want to keep the four. So I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to go into him. I really wouldn't, just ever so slightly. He doesn't have to. I mean, you would love to have the eight over the side if you were going to shoot a shot like that, right, Danny? Like go into him really right got, there. Well, he's got a, an angle to go to the seven right now. I think that's what he'll try to do. That's what he did. What a nice touch. Beautiful. Look at that. Great shot. He's going to leave the eight to the six to the four for the break shot. And that's just ideal. He'll come on the other side of the five. 
just like so. And really just fall right behind the eight, just like Danny said. Well, he's going to have to shoot it up the other corner, not the short way, but it doesn't matter where the six is. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Is he going two rails because he's kind of straight? Look at this. Don't hit the four. He um, did. Now he's going to have to really improvise. He's straight in on the six, so he can't really get to the eight. You know, I don't know why he went forward. Yeah, if he had the angle to get to the bottom rail, he could have probably shoved it over and drew behind the, uh, you know, put a little speed on it with a little bit of draw and got, got on the back side of the eight. It's well, a pretty simple shot in the upper right-hand corner of the eight is. If he wants to open the next rack, I think right now he's got to shoot to four, get to the eight, and try to do something with the six. And now that one, you could maybe fall on that two rail, that meaning cut the six on the side and come two rails to the back of the rack. So I don't know. I, I think he's probably going to do that. I'm trying to picture something else just because it's. I don't think there is anything else. Yeah, that's simple. That's pretty oh, simple. That's not, and that's what happens whenever you really reposition in your. Uh, and no. It's, and, he's upset because he hit that ball. Right. And then he didn't concentrate very well. Yeah, it was still on his mind. Uh, I really wanted to see him, which we may see the same thing uh, from Corey, really, on the six. But I wanted to see that break shot develop just so we could get a look at it coming two rails to the back of the rack. Especially that we called it. Yeah, well, we, we, we haven't got to, to see right it. Also. We haven't got to see it, and surprising, really, I mean, that shows you how great these guys have been playing. They, they really, really rarely had to uh, shoot any kind of... Uh, Break shots that you don't, you know, just abnormal break shots. Just some things that are a little different. So they're staying in line. Corey has a couple runs in the 70s. Yeah, he's played pretty solid. It's just been a couple unlucky situations. And then, you know, like almost everybody in the tournament, just a couple odd misses or, or even tough misses. You know, the ones that you get a little trapped and. You got to take a little chance and you end up missing a tough shot trying to, you know, maybe gain position or whatever. But everybody's played great. Just the way we expected. Yeah, this is going to require some nice touch. He really he needs it. Oh, that's nice there. He can't get to the two rail shot, but he can get to the rack. So I think Corey's with what he was left with. He doesn't want to do it over, I don't think, huh, Danny? No. And we do have our schedule out for Saturday at noon. It'll be Appleton versus Filler. With uh, You can see Appleton here at 1 and 2, and you, you know what he needs to do. And Filler with a 2 and 2 record. And then at 2.30, it'll be Corey Duell and Shane Van Boney. Okay. Okay, got a couple loose. They're uh, he's only got a combination or the 11 down the end rail. I don't even think he can get at the combination, Danny. I think he's got to cut the 11. Yeah. And then so 2.30 will be Duel and Van Boning. 7 o'clock or Cuyo and Shaw. And then as soon as that's over, 9.30, the two best uh, records will face off in the finals. Great shot. Oh, it looked good to me at first. Yeah. At second, it does. It looked good. To me. Yeah, but he... he Played it with a nice speed and a good control. He's going to go into him off the three in the side. Uh, he's got too much angle for that. I mean, he's a little too no. straight for that, I mean. No, I think he's got a good angle. Does he? Yeah. Really? Can he get enough of them? No, he's going to hit. I guess he just wants to hit the four. He's going to hit the four. Okay. That'll but open him up. If he, Yeah, okay. He's, he does have it. Okay, he just played. Uh, that's Well, what, he didn't want to open him with that. Now what? Well, he's got the five. You shoot the five and then go into him with the fifteen. With the fifteen. And I think so. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, because you expect to come off the rack to where you come upward, and then you'll have the four. The way the rack's laying, if you hit the seven or in, any part of the nine on the top, any part of the one on the top, you're going to come up towards the center of the table. So this, you, this is pretty good. Yeah, you don't even have to kill it. 
No, you don't. Uh, you should have a shot on the four and just don't baby it, but don't kill it. It's like right in the middle, right? Just nice. Oh, don't hit it with center, huh? You oh, yeah, you're going center. Yeah, well, that's good. That's what, I'm, yeah, perfect. There you go. Great shot. See, and like we said, he's got the four. Yeah, well, you'll notice like the the side of that rack was kind of aimed how the side of the rack is after you get done racking the balls. Uh, and you can you can rely on most of the time you're going to go into that rack and come upward with the cue ball. And you'll notice Corey did it with a real light speed. So he's going to have to figure out another way to break the balls, it looks like, Danny. He could come from the bottom of the rack with the 10. That's not bad, really, the way they're laying. Well, does the 9 go by the 13? That's what, I don't think so, or else he would have held, I believe. He, or he likes the combination, but he wants an angle on it if he's going to go into the rack. Or is the 12 going to go into the rack for him if he makes the combination? That's the, I don't know. If that's the case, he could hold for the 10. Okay, he's going to use the cue ball a little bit, but he got thin now, so I don't know, Danny. Yeah, he's shooting the 10, and I think he's going to the 9. Don't get on top of the 13 here. Knock everything away and get on top of the 13. Okay, he's nice speed. He's got the 7, he's got the 9. Nice speed. Perfect speed. And a 13, I think he's got. I think he'll get shoot the 13 just so he can open the other side of the 12 and the 8. Still got to start thinking about a break ball, though. Is he doing that now? I don't think he could juice it that well. Okay. He's shooting the one now. Well, he's upset about it. Yeah, you know, he got a little thin, because any more angle, he could have went right to the 12. And unless the eight passes the, I mean, he's going to have problems producing a little break ball and not have a, having some type of worry later on the one. Well, I think he can shoot the seven and have the nine next. Then he could fall on the 12. That might do something. That might open a break shot. That's for sure. But if you're moving those early like that with them so close together, I'm not 100%. He's going to the 12 right now. Yeah, I think he's almost got to, either the 12 or the 8, whichever one he likes to move the balls with. But you'll, I'm just saying, like, which shot, which shot, if he goes into the 8 right here, what ball is he guaranteed to get a shot at? And that's when I'm a little worried. Just well, because they're close together and they're, they could got your little full. You, yeah. Well, he could go to the 1 with this. Okay, and just come fall on the 9 last. I think he's going to pinch the cue ball and open up with the 8. Yeah. And then try and get an angle on the nine to do something. At, uh, I mean, uh, angle on the one to do something with the other balls. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, right now, it's a little kind of a jigsaw puzzle. Combination. Does that move the 14 into play and he can draw back for the eight in the same corner? Is that a possibility, Danny? I don't think so. No? But Yeah, but you're right. If he makes the uh, nine, uh, the 14 might go right into break shot position. Yeah, and he doesn't have to hit it hard because he's close no, to it. No, you don't want to hit it hard. Well, I know that. That's what I mean. But, it doesn't require hitting it hard to get position on the eight. You can just pinch the cue ball. Watch the 14 just trickle over the, the, right. to the right side that's of the rack. That's going to be good. Oh, he hit it hard. Okay. Well, it's still a jigsaw well, puzzle. He's in real trouble but just because the... the do you shoot, you got to shoot the 14 and try and make the one into something good, maybe. You I don't think you could. It's frozen. And well, you, I know, but I mean. You might ain't. double kiss it. Yeah, but it's still no good there. So you got to take a chance. He's going to double kiss it. We'll see what happens. You never know. He might double kiss it down by the hole if, if he, like that. Double kiss Look into it perfect. <laughs> what a great shot. And he, can he cheat this angle to come two rails with a high inside ball? Is, is that possible? Well, is he too, it's going to yeah, be that's tricky. What he's, that's you what he's doing. Miss the point. He's got to make sure short is the only problem. Great shooting there, I think, anyways. Great. What, what a recovery. People loved it. Mm, we talked about Corey's two and one. But the thing is with Corey, 
He's, he suffered a bad loss, uh, and, he, and, it, and his one loss, he only has 66, which isn't horrible, don't get me wrong. Not. There's been less. I there's mean, a 30, there's a 32. And I'm just saying that looking at the other scores, there were some early matches like Corey defeated Jason Shaw in the opening match of our straight pool event, 150 to 134. But importantly, he can't think of that. Just play every game and try to win them. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But if you're in the... If you're a Corey Duell fan, and there are a lot of them that uh, I know he's got to win. Even more so, though. I like, like the way he hit it. Yeah. What we saw with, with the eight ball, you know, him breaking the second ball, he didn't mind working through the racks with a few more clusters than uh, than a lot of the other guys trying to keep control. Well, I don't think the 11 goes. And that's a little bit of an issue, isn't it, Danny? Sure is, because that would get him to the six. Okay. Good thing he hit that one lightly, because a little bit uh, more he would have been having to shoot a combination. So, and he was aware of that. Of course. Yeah, Water, watch this double kiss with a little low left. Double spinning. kiss did yeah, perfect. look at that. <laughs> and then he made a great shot on the eight as well to get to the to the break shot. And he's, a little, he's got to commit here, right, Danny? I mean, it's a little funny when it's funny. Just commit to getting the next shot, even if it's something silly. I think like he goes to the six there. Yeah, I think so. No, he's going to shoot I, the 11 first. Well, that kind of opens up the eight and 14, and but... I think he still may have to shoot off the six at some time, but he just doesn't love it with the nothing on the bottom of the bottom rail here. I'll tell you what. Well, I think what I do is if the 14 is available on the side afterwards, I hold right there and then I shoot the six and, and I can draw back and I know I'm having the eight up in the corner. Does that make any sense? No. No, not at all? <laughs> I don't like it. It's a little angle here, but he got to it. But I mean, I mean, you can definitely get the four and the ten open, and most likely get a shot on something else, and then you got the eight. So you are and, playing good. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, if he goes forward here off the six, I'm not sure what he's getting. If he goes backwards with the fourteen there, also. Well, could he shoot the fourteen in the side without hitting the pile? That's what I mean. Like, yeah, uh, he can go right to the twelve. Oh, maybe so. Yeah, there you go. I like that because you're definitely opening a lot of balls. Oh, he's shooting the six. Okay, we'll see. Is he going to go three rails off the pile? Well, well, he's queuing low, so it doesn't appear so. Okay, pretty nice shot. Good. Yeah. You really end up with only one shot, but I don't know if the nine's dead once he moves the cue ball away shooting don't his have three. to be dead. You got the two or the nine in, in the in lower the left. Other, yeah. yeah. Nice shot. You can see that seven that's up near the side pocket, really near the rail, and there's only the 12 near it right now. Yeah, you got a ball in that ball pretty soon. Maybe off the 10. Yeah, well, I think he's already keying definitely on that 14 as a break ball, so he'll play to that. He needs to address the, t the four ball. And he needs to address the seven ball. All the other ones are really working for him. He can go to the seven right now. Not with this ball, with, with the ten. He's coming back and see. He's trying to see. All right, if I pinch this back. Oh, oh well. Surprised on that one. That's, and that's another thing I was going to say. The two, it may be dead in the side off the ten. But then you're moving the ten. And the ten could be nice for you later. But. Didn't even hit the 10, so the 10 is still good. But the 7 isn't, and the 4 isn't. And you'll notice right now, there's not really any shot that just goes naturally to either one of them. And that's what he's what, what he's thinking. So he's going to have to shoot a shot to pick another one off, Danny, to get to one of those. I think he can hit the side rail where the 10 is and go two rails to the 7. Yeah. 
Well, that's a little bit of a thin hit just because the seven's so far up the rail. I mean, your speed has to be yeah. pretty perfect. Okay, so we'll see what he does here. He, is he coming across for the seven now? Is that no, what I don't think so. No? No. Yes, he is, but yeah. I would have left the seven to get to the ten to get to the break shot. Well, the... Yeah, but the thing is, what he's thinking is, if I fall funny on the seven and I don't like getting on the four, I can just use the nine. And the ten's so good, if I, you know, if I get from the nine to the four, I'm okay as far, you know, as far as as uh, getting a shot on the break. So it was a little bit of, of a way that gave him a little bit more two way. Like if he fell on the seven, where going to the four was nice, he would do it that way. But, Pretty solid so far, wouldn't you say? He's right. He's doing all right here. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's full enough now to just come out a little bit. Yeah, he may have to shoot it from a five or six inches further away, but that's all right. Very good. Pretty good. And Corey Duell out to a 32 to 24 lead. And Darren again just, uh, you know, this was a, after a miss. I mean, the the match last night with, with Dennis, or today, excuse me, with Dennis, uh, that was just, he didn't do anything but lose the lag and had to break the balls and watch Dennis just put on a performance. You, you, one of the performances you might not see again. I mean, you're probably going to see 150 again if you get to see uh, a lot of straight pool. But how often do you think, Danny? Not very often. No, you, you, you know, you got to play real well, and you got to get a, a roll here and there. 150 is a good run, especially when that's total points for the, for the game. Where are you going, cue ball? And that's the way we saw the break shot last night, that he really hit a lot of those spinning off two rails, whether it be from the bottom of the rack or the side of the rack, with he a lot it. of control, huh? Yeah, he hit it good. He's got the two or the seven. I'm going to look in here. Uh, does the one go by the five? That makes a little difference, but not much, I guess. The eleven's not doing much for him, so why not shoot the seven and the eleven away? And get to at least one of those lower balls. Yeah, get a little angle on the uh, 15, right? 15 to go into the balls again. Yeah. You got plenty of insurance balls. I thought he got a little flat there. He could have used a little bit thinner, but I think he's okay. You don't have to pound it because it's not nine ball. He'll have a shot. Just cinch it and hit the six. Whoa. He's got the five. So he's got no worries. Well, that's why I thought it was good, because he did have a lot of insurance possibility. Yeah, here he's a little thin. So anytime you're a little thin and the cue ball's racing and you don't have him wide open, and it's not going to be racing. I mean, he can control it, but that's where you need to make a real clear-cut decision where you're going, right, Danny? Yeah. Because you can get out of line real quick. And when you're a little more full on the balls, you always... But like I always say, whatever you do, don't miss. Okay, he's Good playing speed. for the two ball. He'd like to, he'll have liked to have gotten over and got that one out of there, but that's okay. I don't think the nine, like if the 10 wasn't there, I don't think the nine goes in the side, huh, Danny? No, it doesn't. Okay. Can he get somewhere on top of the nine and use the four to open? Like go into the four with the cue ball? Oh, well, that's stroke. okay. Great shot, too. Great thinking. Well, he's still got to do some work. Is that combination dead? No. Then he's got to fall on that ball. Is it going to go up into the three right here? Or? 
I'm trying to figure out how. Not he, a bad idea, but. Well, if the six, I think if the six and the three passes, he's got to just, if they go up in the right corner, you got to hit this with a high right and just play the six and three, and you're going to open the balls with the six or the three, right, Danny? Right. Like if he played on the other side of the two, six, and three, he could shoot one of those in and just go forward and open, move the 13 with no problem. Well, he can go to the three now off of the 10. Yeah. And that's well, it. He should do that, I think. I think, I it's, think, real so, but I think I, it's real easy to open. I don't open. like the 12 where it is. I don't think you want to leave that there. No, but I wouldn't want to draw back. I would rather just go ahead and make sure that 13's open. I think he'll get to the 12. If he drops on the 6 and the 3, he'll, what happened is he could probably shoot the 3, open the 13, shoot the 6, and then you see that little nice alley that'll be there to get to the 12 after that? Yeah. So, look. I think addressing these would be best for him. Now, this is a, I, I, I don't shoot a missable shot, which you don't figure to miss this, but the ten's a lot easier, right? Well, it's a little bit of a cut. He'll pop this in. Might He's go right to the uh, 12. 12. Get that out of there. Nice shot. He did. And now he's kind of above these the six and the three where I thought he could get a little more full and a little closer. Well, I like shooting the 12, but he's not. Shoot the 12, try to get to the three. If you don't, you got other balls. Yeah, I like shooting the 12. Yeah, well, I like the a second ago shooting the 10 for sure. And you'll notice also that opens the nine on the side when you would have come over and bumped them balls, so. Still okay. If he just barely hits the top of this eight, he's fine. He'll either come up for the for the eight in the same corner. Very soft. Or he'll have the nine in the lower left corner. Just don't hit Very it hard. Very soft. He'll yeah. have the eight for a break shot. Yeah. Bounce. He got the 13, too. Yeah, 13's kind of low, but that'll do. Yeah, he's, now he's pop, pop, nine in the corner, 10 in the side, dropping on that 12 ball. Yeah, he worked it out nice. And very well controlled. The pool is uh, like some other sports. There's different ways to get it done or different ways to have strengths. I mean, all these guys can pocket the ball really well. There's some of them that you would say are straighter shooters, and they'd probably tell you the same thing. But Corey, with a lot of experience and... Uh, very steady, and a, you would consider a real nice cue ball, and we know he's creative. Got the good angle. And he's going to have to put some nice cue on this, and not only that, he's going to have to pinch it just a little bit. He'll handle it. Nice shot. Perfect. Nice shot. We have a score of 46 to 24. Corey really uh, doing some doing some damage here after a miss by that by Darren. Well, he's gonna have to hit this ball pretty hard. I think yeah. he'll hit the two and might glance and come back out. You gotta but you gotta stroke this. You can't hit it. You can't baby this. Yeah, I think he's going to draw. Now, this is the one I saw Shaw scratch on in that same corner. He didn't quite get the draw, and he bounced right towards the hole. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah, he did well. He's got the uh, 11. Yeah, he's got the 11, and he can get out to the middle of the table, and he's got the 7, and just kind of get him going. I think he'll be good. Yeah, he got him open good. pretty well with that. Don't try and go into any of the stack balls here, putting a little extra on it. Just... Get out to the center, you'll have the four in the side, the seven. That'll clear for the 12. The three's over up just past the point on the upper uh, side rail. Whoa. Hey, be careful. Whoa. Whoa. It went in. No. Oh, he's corner hooked. No, he's got he's corner hooked away. He's not going to shoot that anyway. If he's not corner hooked, probably going forward with the cue ball. But he he's got a shot on the nine. But looks to me he's got a, it's got wow. a, it's delicate. If he's going into the edge of the four, does the one pass the fourteen? Like if he was where the four was. 
I wonder if that'd be a nice ball to be able to no, shoot. No, I don't think it does. Looks like it's froze onto the 14, and it doesn't have a path to the pocket. Got to shoot the three if he can make it. Where's he going with the cue ball? He's, he can't, he's definitely well, he's not going to elevate. He's got the nine next. Yeah, but he's not going to elevate there. You're not going to elevate okay, here. Okay, he's got an angle. He could go to the two even. Yeah, I'm just worried if he catches a certain portion of the four and knocks the four and slows the cue ball down, what's he going to have? Okay. Like, okay, he got there. That, that was a little worrisome. You'll notice he just went right by that four, but now he's okay. Got to make a little bit of a shot in the upper left-hand corner, but... Got to get that three out of there. Yeah. Can't go too many places off the three. I think he's got to also take a chance of getting the seven out of there so he can open the 12 to, to get out the rack. I think that's the really only the great ball you, I can see getting on. Like if he was just to go upward with the cue ball a little bit, shoot the seven and come around the rack to the center of the table. He's going to probably try and play it a little more controlled, but that's that's what I'm looking to get on because I'm a little concerned about this rack. He could go into the 14 now, but I think he's gambling a little bit doing that. And he may do it. Hard luck not to get a shot, but I like coming around the rack and shooting for the 12. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's not, not the best one ever, but from where he was. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Especially if that 10's going into any piece of the 6 and 15, and that's what he's looking at right now. But if he just draws off and clears off the 8, also, the, I mean, you got to figure to get a shot, huh, Danny? Yeah, the 5 is going to be going near that pocket. Like, I would rather shoot this one with speed rather than rolling it and, well, and maybe sticking on something and just getting, just, getting, uh, just getting beat not to get a shot by maybe an inch on something. The 5 something. is going towards that pocket. Well, he could draw back for the two also off right. the ten. Okay. Well, don't he, tie he, up. He needs some help. He got a cross tie side. Up. He got, Might have to shoot that cross side. Well, wait, does he have the 15? He's got the 15, but that's thin. The six is a little on top of the 15. Does he not have the bank? He must not have the bank because he would certainly be looking at it. I'm shooting the bank, I believe. So is he. Yeah, he'll need to hold position though. That may be, a, a, wow, he may be on the, the right angle where he needs to draw out of the kiss on the two and he can't really get great position on anything. 15 is thin, but I like it. Well, he's he, definitely gonna shoot at something. He's not playing safe. Yeah, he's going right into the five hey, and is two. The ki shoot. What's the kiss shot on the bottom of the 14 look like, Danny? He can get to the edge of the 14. What's that look like off the one? No, it's not kissing enough. It's not kissing enough, the no. edge of the 14, no? no? Even with high Definitely. English? No, Even it with doesn't high matter. English? No. Okay. It's, it's uh, I wish it was, and I, because Corey, or I wish it was close. He would probably notice if it was closer. He, is he drawn into these? Well, you better make it. Oh. Better make it. We made it, but it doesn't count. Did he even hold position on anything? Did he leave a shot? He left the pin hit on the five. Well, I'm now is the you. one makeable with draw English then, Danny? No. No, definitely not. No, I don't like the one. I wouldn't want to have a coat on spotting that ball right there. I know that. It's clum clumsy as I am. See, he went astray. I would have shot the 15. I know you didn't like it. Well, 15 would have been. Well, no, this is exactly why I might have shot the 15, because I'm not sure what shape he was actually playing, and that's what would concern me. If I'm shooting a bank, I'm getting shape. What did he leave? Well, did he leave anything? Banks are good to put your money in. Well, yeah, but you got to shoot them sometimes. Well, he did. What's he? What's going on? A little high like the eight goes. I guess the eight goes is what they're saying. It goes by the six. They're making sure it's spotted correctly. And I guess that's what Corey was playing shape on, but I didn't I didn't I wasn't aware the eight went by the six. Now they're spotting the four. It doesn't matter which ball you spot and when it goes in the wrong pocket, the, the it's meaningless in straight pool. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, 
Welcome again to the 2017 Make It Happen Straight Pole Invitational. We're here in Edison, New Jersey. It's the last match of day three. I'm Jeremy Jones with AccuStat Video Productions, joined by Hall of Famer Danny DiLiberto. Pretty solid match to start off, Danny. Yeah. Corey with a got run. Got the eight. Yeah, he's got the eight. That makes all the difference he's in the world. get rid of the three now. Better get rid of the three, go to the five. Yeah, well, the four is nice, too, right, to break? Yeah. Like, you try to do both. Like, if you don't get the angle, like, you shoot the four from a little distance more, a little more distance. Or, no, I like you, Danny. Go to the five now and use the five to get on the four, right? Right. That's a little more guaranteed. He could try to fall on the four now. Looks like that's what he's doing, but you'll notice if he gets straight, now he can't break the cluster, and he's got to play short position, meaning real tight position on the 6 and 15, and maybe even elevated position, so we'll see. What, what we're talking about is just come over the side of the table and then shoot the 5. It's a little easier to get the right position. Is he shooting the 15 now? Right, I hope so. I don't blame him. Good and, shot. And as, uh, you know, that was... The toughest shot in the world, but... He got on the, on the four straight again. I don't think he can hit anything. Well, he's going to go around again. Shooting the six this time. Yeah, but that opens the ten, I think. And look how Darren's taking him apart. Now, he a couple times he could have taken a little more chance coming one rail into those balls. Well, the one doesn't go, but the 14 does. Yeah, but just sweet to watch instead of just taking a little more chance. Because he's going to try and leave the one, I believe, for a break. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay, great shot. He needs to be pretty full on the four because he, he is. Okay. That'll allow him to go up for the 15, right? I mean the five, excuse me. If you're real full here, don't you go up for the five? I don't know. You might want to shoot the 14, then go to the five. What, drawing it or going a few rails? Or you he don't... can go, he can draw it, he can go one rail. He's just going to draw it. Oh, oh he missed, missed the ball. And I think that was a little bit being so concerned to getting at that perfect angle where he could draw on the 14, not hit the one, and still get shape on the five. Well, so Darren I... just hasn't been Darren. No. You're not supposed to miss that. Okay, so Corey's going to use the five next to get on the four. He could shoot the four now, but that's a little steep of an angle to get on the five. Well, if he was going to shoot the four, he would have played better position. Now he's fine. Just don't come across and get on the rail. Right, don't get on the rail. And you'll see him, like, right there. He's right perfect. in between. Yeah, he's, he's right, right in between. Do I want to ease it or do I want to use two rails? Well, when you ease it, you almost have a good shot for a long ways of what the cue ball travels. And when you, you send it two rails, you better have the best speed on it or you won't get much of an angle. And you'll be shooting the break shot from long distance. And Corey right back at the table. Uh, a little surprising, probably. Not surprising. Never figured Appleton to miss. But he's been playing not Appleton way. Yeah, and it's not so much been the the position play so much. It's just been a few misses here and there. And really, he hasn't got to play as much in the straight pool. You know, we played alternate the break in the in the eight ball, and he yep. was guaranteed to get his, his fair share of play. But <laughs> well, he <laughs> sat in the chair today. Yeah, he sure did. But you're right. Tough to get in rhythm sitting in the chair. Yeah, well, I mean, he opened... Uh, he opened with... Go, supposed to go forward here. His first, his first, he did. his first match, he defeated uh, Darren Appleton by a score of 150 to 130. Hey, what happened here? Then day two, he didn't get to shoot much when he played Jason Shaw talking about Darren. So, and then we saw what happened uh, this afternoon with Dennis. He didn't get to shoot at all. What did he get here? The he, ten? Yeah, he got a. Oh, that's scary. Well, it's scary because he's either got to kill it to hold for anything else or he's got to go back and forth. And he can't afford to make it off the 11 and chip the, cube, the 11 out where he doesn't have a shot. 
Nice good shot. shot. Good shot. And he, and he held it. Yeah, he made that look a lot easier than, than it was, ladies and gentlemen. Could he hold it for the two now? Well, he's got a to really right put some. English? He's got to put a lot of it, not a little. But the main thing is get the good thin hit. Don't hit it real fat to kind of where it dribbles, meaning it kind of doesn't take the spin. Yeah, he pulls in the two. He'll be in good shape. Yeah, and he'll. That's definitely what he's going to do. And you know, this this level player is not like this type of shot. It's very difficult, but. You still got to hit it pretty good. You got to have a good speed, good well, touch. Well, he got straight on it. I don't think he can hit the pile. Nah, and he can't hit it very hard. He'd take a chance if he went into the bottom of that nine a little bit. You could see a scratch maybe, but can he get on the 15 in any kind of way? That's not cuttable. So he's in a little, this is a little worry spot here. Like he got too steep on the 13 right now. He's going to blast it. And now he's still in trouble because he's real full on the 13. Is the nine cuttable? I don't know. The seven might be in the way. Might he, be able to spin it a little and do it. What about if he knocks the 13 in? Because he does have a little. Excuse me. He does have a little angle on the 13. I mean, yeah. I would. I would rather probably make the nine and try and get to the back of the seven, but that's a little risky too. So. I'm not sure he can make the nine. I think he can, and I think as far as taking a chance on opening the balls, at least you're going to get some movement. You're not really taking a chance on scratching. He needs some bounce. Okay, so you're going to see a thin cut here. Oh, that's for real thin where he got. Oh, the three. Might be three. Eight, three combination. Okay. Side. Well, that makes sense. Can't get a great view right now, but that makes sense. That's why he's so low with the cue ball on the nine. He's trying to figure out how, if it's a little off, he's trying to figure out the speed he can hit it and still get shape. He'll hit the seven, too. Great shot. Well, he looks like he's got the eight in the corner. Yeah, and this is funny, isn't it? Because he can't quite follow too great position on the 12, and he can't tr draw behind the seven, nine. So still, a lot of work left to do here. Just got to punch over for the four, right, Danny? Big and work right now is... Yeah. Punch over for the four and don't take your eye off the eight. That's the key here. Just take the cut. The five's, you're going to draw into the five. It should open the 15 He's a little bit. He's got the angle to go to the four. Uh, that's what I would be looking at trying instead of getting super thin. No, he didn't do it. Oh, he did pretty well, though, but he's still got to create coming across now. So he could, you could see him get on the four as well or take a chance going into the balls. I don't like it because... If he hits the bottom of the 14 or the 6, he could be in trouble. Right. Doesn't have the 7 or 9 doing that. He's going to get on the 4, Danny. He's going to play with complete control, knowing that if he falls a little short, that he can go into the 5 and be and probably produce a shot. Or if he falls real straight, he can go forward off the 4 to the 7 and the 9. So I'd be surprised if he went into the balls, wouldn't you? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go I into him here. Fall into four. Yeah, that's fine. Now he's going into him. Oh, I don't like that, but he might have got away with it. Yeah, that he's was a little risky. 15. It was very risky. But just like playing nine ball and ten ball, these guys go for a lot of great shots that are not always, you know, the highest percentage maybe, or maybe not always uh, well, your favorite to make it, but it's the time to try and shoot well, at it. Well, he'll go to the seven now. He's going to hit this with speed, too, because they'll open up a little bit. Only thing a little concerning there is falling on the rail. Six is a break shot. Unless he makes something else a break shot. Six is good enough. I like shooting the seven and following through, either catching a piece of the 14 and making it into a break shot. Or if I'm straight, go to the other side of the six and go come straight up at the four and 14 to he make a break straight. shot. He is straight. So either way, he's okay. So now you, he got a little flat, but he could have come up and just bump one of them balls and right into their break shot. The nine ball is the best one to bump. Yeah, but if you get a little glancing blow here. You're right. Right now, if he hits the nine pull, he's got the 14 in sight. Right. But if he doesn't, well, look, he shoots. What's he this. doing? I don't know. What's he doing? The four must pass all the way up. Pass where? The corner. Really? 
Yeah. Wow. I don't know if that was worth it, was it, Danny? Sure it was, because of the control of the cue ball. So is he just definitely playing for the six now? I think so. Okay, so once he got short on that six where he couldn't come up into the balls, he decided, all right, I'm going to go ahead and use the six. So I think he I think he was trying to go. I don't think he was trying to originally go across the table on the seven to shoot the four all the way up. You know what I mean? Does that yeah. make sense? Well, he would have liked to got fuller on this five ball. But now you better get the right angle on the 14, not one that goes away from the six. He wants to be straight in on the 14. Yeah, and definitely above it. That's why you said, oh, this is falling behind. This is not what he wants. He's going to have to apply spin or come all the way across the table. Yeah, so he can go one rail, but don't have to get the angle. Yeah, I think he's going to have to put a little left on it too, Danny. A lot of left. Or come High all, left. Yeah, or come all the way across, right? Okay, he did great. It looks yeah, like look he did that. great. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That wasn't easy. He made it look easy. A people lot of people think that, that. Yeah, a lot of people think that, well, that's just routine. Well, it's not when you know you have to get there. It's it's different playing other games where you get there and or you get a little bit off of there, or you get a little bit straight in, you can deal with it. But for there to go into that rack, you really have to have that angle. And the match means a thousand dollars. Not many people can play for a thousand. Well, just uh, you know, with Corey having a two one two and one record, four and one gets you into the final. So he does control his own test. High left hand English, crack it, hit it good. Yeah, he'll just try and get to the center of the table. Oh, oh, he I thought got it. it was hanging. He's going to need a little help. Don't go too far because the eight's not going to go by the 12. So he's no, he's, in, he's trouble. in trouble. He's got to make a nice shot on the seven. Yeah. And when we say he's in trouble, I mean, it's not like he's going to miss this ball very, very often. But he's he's gotten to a point where he's got a missable shot. And playing straight pool, when things are going your way and you're playing well, you don't shoot a whole lot of them Good that are, are super missable. What are you doing here? I know. The one goes. Got the one. But he got on the rail, Danny, and you can see as well as I can to get the cue ball away, to get it freed up. He's going to have to either put some pace on this or some English because he's going to the back of the rack. So what do you think? Which way you hit it, Danny? I hit. go to the left, play the four in the, in the side pocket. Is he not too thin for that? I look too I, thin. I think he's got maybe. He's got to have left-hand English. Okay, this is what, who? Well, he's got the uh, oh, and four he, on the side. And he looked up at the pool guards there. Gave them a little look. Said, thank you very much. Are there really pool guards? Well, I've been hearing it for a hundred years. He's got a nice shot on the side here. Okay, he's got the nine he can shoot, but he, he may want to get a little better on it where he's not quite so, um, where the he's, he's not, not going to so be quiet. able to hold it for the 12. Right, but I'm saying so where he's not so full on the cue ball, I mean, uh, thin on the nine where the cue ball's got a lot of speed going in there, you may not know what's going to happen to the cue ball. I like the nine as well as anything to break. Well, the eight will get him to the nine. And it looks like he can maybe just play position on the four to get to the nine also after the eight. So we'll see. Just like Danny says, don't, speed. don't miss. Yeah. Well, he's got, what does he have? Four goes, but, or he could shoot the nine. I don't want, would, would, wouldn't want him to shoot the 12 if I was his uh, ring man. The four don't look like it has a full pocket. Um, he's looking at it. If it doesn't, I go ahead and just shoot the nine, huh, Danny? Oh, that's a tough shot. I know it is, but I mean. He's got the 12 you, also. Yeah, but 12, you got to kill your ball. You can't afford to come across at all and take a chance of getting behind the four. So don't miss he's coming across and trying to go below the four here. Like so. He overcut it. Yeah, and that's a missable ball. I don't understand. I mean, I understand you're going to get a little better, but. I think he, no, still, he's not supposed to miss that one. That's for no. sure. 
nevertheless, uh, you can't fault his decision because uh, he really he's not supposed to miss that one. Got a little flat on the five to go into the rack. He's going to do it anyways. Yeah, he's going to go into it with he's his just, speed. He's just hitting the top of him, though, right? Oh, oh, oh I don't know if he has anything. He's got a thin cut on the three, and he's not wasting any time. I don't know. Can you get by the nine? He can get by the nine, but uh, I think he did well to stand up off that for a second because that was a look of frustration getting down on that ball quickly. trailing 74 to 31 but he's had plenty of wins from this situation in his uh, straight pool career nice shot well done good control now the nine is a decent break ball for sure he's just got to get to the back side of the 15 or bump the 15 out depending on how these down here unfold it's the break shot, the 10. Yeah, and he commented after his first match uh, this week uh, that he liked the bottom of the rack break ball. He said, especially on this table. Well, now, is it change? You go to the 9 now that you open it. No, I, I think you shoot the uh, 15. You he's, shoot he's, the break shot. Well, maybe the yeah. nine is good. Well, the t yeah, that's why I say you change your mind. And he was a little thin on the 15. He would have had to cut it back a little bit and either draw to the rail or just kind of float it in. So he'll he'll fall on the 15 here. I don't think he'll wait on the 15 at all. He's going to have to gain a little bit of an angle. He wants to get a little bit left of where the 13's at and definitely a little closer to the nine after he shoots the 13. He's a little angle. Straight in. No, he got some. He got some in. I think good for Darren in this spot. He's got he's got the angle where he needs to let his stroke out a little bit. You know, and he doesn't need, need to cream it, but he needs to hit it with a good clean stroke. So, and just to get perfect on position, he needs to draw it and send it to the left a little bit. Nice shot. Okay, folks. I want to thank some of the supporters of more than one Make It Happen event. Vincent Amato, New Jersey. Frank Amorosi from Virginia. Chris Bacher from Texas. Andy Baxter from Connecticut. Thank you, guys. Now, this one, if he could reach it, maybe high English, but otherwise, I like him drawing back out no, to the I center. No, I like going forward off the balls, right back out to the middle of the table. Don't you think that makes a difference, though, when you're stretching? Well, look where he went. Well, I kind of just always feel like I can't get the top English on the oh, ball. Oh, maybe because of I'm, the stretching. Yeah, yeah the stretching, I always felt like it was yeah, a little does funny. Does he have seven? He's got the eight. He's got the eight, and he's got a big pocket on the eight. Uh he wants to play position on the 10 and try and also maybe get on the 7 to open that pocket up. And he might move the 7 when he shoots the 8 here, so we'll see. But main thing, just come out a couple rails for the 10. And if if something develops in this lower right pocket, then you take that. So, all right, he just went ahead and played on the 10 for sure. So now he's going to have to hold for the 7. No use in drawing back on anything, trying to get... Uh, too good a position. Okay, there's an area if you draw this ball, Danny, if you don't hit it well and you bounce off the rail and glance on the one, you could get a little funny. But no. you still got to do it, right? Not ha ha funny either. No, yeah, definitely. He's got to draw it even yeah. if he hits the five. Yeah, nice stroke Good there. Good shot. Yeah. Good uh, shot. Very controlled. I think he has the two in the side. <laughs> and he took uh, playing with choices there. If he gets on the six how he wants it, he can go into the balls with no problems. 
don't hit it too hard. You don't want to glance off the three and go past the 11. You want to just ticky the 11 also. Oh, he, pat he went by the three. Now, that was a mistake also by hitting it too hard. He's in trouble. Yeah, you got to make sure you get had that collision on the three. And what he did is he overhit it. Probably trying to open the balls a little too much, maybe. I don't know. Maybe just it just caught, just missed it with his eye, maybe. Yeah, he doesn't have it unless he, he a got bank a bank on a 13 is on. Oh, I don't care about that one. But yeah. you know, I always say this. You could miss balls, but don't make mental errors. That was a mental error. Can you do anything with the 12 rolling on the, on the four with the cue ball? And cutting them off, I mean, or do you go for the bank, Danny? I mean, what what are you going to do? Well, I mean, it depends how you feel. Well, well this is why we got you here, Danny, the expertise. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, thank you. I got I mean, the charm's there as well, but I mean, this is the this, I this gotta, is the nitty gritty right here. I'm trying to think for uh, Darren. I mean, I'm going the bank myself, and I'm playing it with a high ball to where I come around and get some position. I don't want to draw it because you could dive down on that five ball, and, and you could get the scratch. You could do it, get a number of things. So just level out with a nice, medium, firm, high ball. Great shot. It is a great shot. I mean, well, you had the idea there with the bank. You didn't need me. You, well, you, no, you I mean, you see, other, but you see other things that I don't see, and I, and I'm sure pretty much everybody in the building, uh, there's things. You've already showed me two or three shots this week. I mean, like, and, and that's just showing me. I'm talking not, I don't know how many you told me about talking that I've learned about. Now you can come across on the three, right, Danny? Well, I think he's supposed to shoot the uh, 11 in the side and break them with the 15. You don't like the natural cut on the three on the fifteen now, and just and just easy. It's just real easy no, shot. No, I don't. I mean, you no. know, it's one way to play it, but I like rolling the eleven in the side. And, and then playing behind the fifteen is what you're saying. Oh, he's shooting on the your rail. shot. He's shooting your shot. I think if he catches the three or the twelve, he's okay. Whichever one he wants. The three went into a break shot, but look at the ball. Well, he's got the one. He's got the one. Yeah, we'll see. He's still got a little work with that 4 and 12, but if you fall 4, what you do is you get on the 14 now, and then you can fall on the 12 or 4 on the side real easy, one of the two. I think that's okay. No? And then you got the 1 there, too, if you don't, like, if you fall on the 4 and you can't get on the 12, how you like, you got the 1. So I think getting behind the, the 4 and 12 off the 14 is a pretty good play. Well, look at the ball he's shooting. Yeah, that's what I mean. Shoot the 11, get on the... Oh, he's trying to get on him now. I would have just played to, to use the 14 to get on him just because it's a little more guaranteed well, and, you, and you're not jacked up. The one's too thin to shoot. He's going to bump him. I know, but I... The one is too thin to do it with. Oh, yeah. The 14. He's jacked up on the 14. Got to use the bridge. Yeah. I'm surprised Darren didn't see getting from the 14 to the them two balls only because you had choices on the four and four, four and 12. When you get on the 14, you're real close to the backside of him, but still he should be okay. And he's going to try and bump him here. The main thing is don't just bump the 12. You got to hit the four. Might make a break shot. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. He's got a three ball break shot, but he might want another one. All right. He's playing a lot of right. So, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, Great he shot. did make another break. Oh, it's still in. Great shot. He'll, He's fine. He'll just come, I think, just one rail in between the 4 and 12 and either have the 12 in the corner or the 4 on the side. Don't take any chances here. Oh, he eased it. I didn't know he could hold that well oh, on the perfect. 4. Wow. Now he can go two rails behind the 3 off of the 12. Very good. See, he doesn't have the one railer like we called because he might hit the three. So he's going two rails under it. And don't put too much spin. That's the key. Perfect. Yeah, a lot of people dive too tight, like on a too, okay. too small of an angle into that corner, and then you end up coming around and getting straight in on now the three. Appleton's dabbing it. I want to thank Richard Burney from Washington, Alan Burton from Nevada, Keith Caldwell from Florida, Gary Crowther from California, 
Rick Sear from New York and Justin DeJan with the millionaire, um, with the military. And Darren, uh, Darren Appleton, with, it's just 24 he's on right now, but it's a big 24. He's pretty played pretty solid, made a couple really nice shots. So that bank showed me he's still wanting to try and win. That's of course for sure. he does. And if he gets in rhythm, he's in trouble. You know, his quarry is going to whack this. Watch out for that side. Okay. Oh, yeah, a little he's low. Stuck. Does kinda... he have the does he have the pipe? Off the nine, Which, you mean? No, right does, in. Is he looking at safe immediately? No, I think he can cut the five and make it. Really? Oof. Yeah. We're playing all ball fouls. This is dicey. I mean, he's got, if he lets up on it at all, he'll hit it thick. It, it won't cut as well. So, and I don't know if he can get in there. Oh, he could. Well, I'm sure if, he, if he's shooting at it. He knows he can get in there. Yeah, he could get in there. It's not like I, I think I can. I don't think he's that type of guy that, that plays that way. But So he'll ease it, I think, to be honest with you. Kind of draw off of it. Yeah, like so. Good shot. Great shot. <laughs> People don't understand. Okay, he got on the 50-yard line now. How great a shot that is right there with the bridge. He's got the seven. He's yeah. got the... Uh, Twelve. I, I think you got to shoot the twelve though, just because it's a little more guaranteed on what's what you're gonna get. I mean, you figure to get the nine if you shoot the seven, but never know. He may get through the rack and use the seven as a break break ball. You doubt it. Nice shot. And Corey with a two and one record. Uh, and Darren with the, you know, probably. One and two. Yeah, one and two, but the the, the loss he took earlier, and I hard to consider a loss. That's, just, yeah, he that's was just, more than one. You know, that counts for two losses. Well, not only that, Darren was about the happiest guy in the building to get there and oh, be right there and watch it, it seemed like. Oh, yeah, he was very congratulatory. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Well, we're like family. Absolutely. You know, it's not a war. Hey, you know, if you know how it is, if you can't be the one to tell him I ran 150 and on out on him, you want to be the one that got the 150 run out on uh, for later on for stories. Okay, can right. you get at the 15 or is he going right at the 10? 10, I believe. Okay. Now he's got the 15. And he's he's look, got the six, too, but I don't know why you would shoot that. Yeah, the, he's got the two from certain places on the this side of the racket. No, that looks like the 11 may have him covered up. I mean, he's running out of them, though, so he definitely needs to start thinking, what about the 13 in the side? What can he do with that? Well, if he's got that, he'll be fine. Yeah. You know, he could nudge the one and still have the six. He's hitting Shoot balls here. Six. Yeah, I don't know about that. If he catches a oh, piece, oh, he of, might go way up. Okay, straight. he knew for sure that he was. Uh, Good shot. He was not going very far with the cue ball. Now this one's tricky. He's going right into a solid piece of that 14 with a ball behind it. That means he's got a chance of sticking on it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to shoot the one for sure. Not yet, anyways. Maybe in a little while. Yeah, if he got where he could roll forward off of it or draw out to the center of the table. That's a that's a different story. Yeah, he's gonna shoot the one all right. Well, I'm still not in love with it from there. I'm either. not either, because if he got straight in he could have played the two next. Now we don't know. He's gonna hit the fourteen. Yeah. I'm trying to figure this one out. I can't I mean I like uh, if you're gonna do this I, I kind of like um, getting a little thinner on the one. Like, go ahead and, sh well, he's going to draw off he's of gonna it. He's going to stroke it. Yeah, and really oh, just like it. All he's got is the four up the corner. Anytime you have a ball that you're going into full and it has another one right behind it and it's on the same opposite side with the same angle that, that the cue ball is going into it, it's going to be hard pour, to move them apart. But don't forget, a little while ago he missed the shot like this. And it was easier in this. He wasn't queued up over the ball. This is huge. 
Don't baby it. Shoot it a little bit. Uh -huh. Great shot. Great shot. I couldn't tell at first when he started walking if he made it or not. I should have paid attention. I guess his chair is <laughs> in the other direction. But <laughs> so that was a great shot. He's really only got a, a good safe shot on the seven, but that's kind of his break ball. So you never know. Is he going to draw into the 14 here? He needs a break shot. He's in the seven is the breaker, but he's got to shoot it, I think. Is the 15 no good to break? It's too far over to the left, huh, Danny? Oh, right, it is. Okay, let me see here. He's got to shoot the 7. I think he's okay to draw into the bottom of the 14. Take a chance that way. Yeah, he can knock the 14 out, and he'll, he'll have yeah. the 11. And he may knock the 2 out into a break ball. Maybe. I mean... I mean, I, I don't think you take any other chances doing anything else like that. He knocked it out. A little more speed. Yeah, he almost got them both out. But the 14's doable. But it's high. It is a little high, but under the circumstances, I think he'll take it at the, you know. I mean, well, he could draw off the 14, off the 2 here and try and do a little something different with it. I think the 2 will go into a break shot, but not he's not hitting it. No, he's going to take no chances. He wants to get... He figures he got to a point where he didn't have a break shot with, you know, like four balls left, and he got one. And why not just settle for it? And I think he's that's that's the right decision. But little by little, it looks like he's getting in rhythm. That's dangerous, Darren Appleton. Yeah, and you would figure that uh, with the tiebreaker format, meaning game, uh, excuse me, uh, points gained and, and matches lost with uh, two players having the same record, you would think he needs kind of a big win here against Corey. He doesn't need 150 does. to 130 or anything like that. He needs probably where Corey definitely doesn't get But I want to thank a guy named Bob Duffy from New Jersey. He's here, and he won the 500 in the eight ball one loss contest. He could buy friends drinks. Fred Esch from New York, Dick Eshelman, Ohio. Thank you, guys. Okay, and he's on the top of the rack. Pretty he's not, he's not going to go forward. He's he, going to draw this ball, yeah, whack it. He's pretty full. Pound it. Oh, he didn't pound it. He's kind of shot it with the in-between. Now he's going to have the three, which is pretty fortunate. Oh, I don't know how fortunate. <laughs> well, he's a little angle. He's got a little angle, I'll, so. I'll let you know when he makes it. Well, he's going to definitely have to shoot the gap on something because I don't think you're going to see him, unless he's got a little more angle than I'm thinking, I don't think you're going to see him come above the rack. So it'd be nice. He's got to realize, listen, don't put anything extra. The nine goes off the four real easy, right, Danny? Like after the three? Yes. Just stay on that side of the table. If you get in the gap between the nine and five for the eight, that's fine. If not, the nine goes easily. Oh, okay. he made it. Where are you okay. going? Okay, he had a lot of angle. So that's all right. He just got a hold on the four. And yeah. then he's... Stop right there. You got the five. Do you go ahead and play position to break with the nine? I don't know about breaking yet. Well, he's going to break. But how about shooting the uh, 13 up the corner first? Well, I like that, especially if he feels like he can draw off the 7. And no, he's going to brush the 7 for sure. Well, but is it going to open it? I guess you, what I'm I, saying I is you take so. the chance anyways, right? You right, just... no, but it's not so much a chance. But... Yeah, because he needs to draw back off of it. I mean, you yeah, could go, I, I you could go forward, but you're taking a chance that they don't that they don't stick together or bounce back out and, and get doubled yep. up, meaning where they don't go. You could draw it back a little. You're still I don't mind gonna, this. I like this. Yeah, I do. Just shoot it in. When are you going to get them if you don't get you gotta it you got to draw your ball a little bit, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. He didn't. He played for the... Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, the 12. I thought if he stayed there, the 12 would be in his way, but I can see now that he definitely has a shot at the 9. Still, though, he needs to get the pack open. He's a little flat on the, on the uh, 
on the nine to go one row. He could go one row into it with a lot of speed, but that's that's pretty dangerous. Well, if he can get those balls off and leave the seven and the 11 there, he'll have a good break shot. I think he's got a little bit of issues here. I really do. I mean, he could take a little bit of a chance just falling underneath the five and draw onto the six, but that ain't that's not leaving anything guaranteed no, at no. all. He if he shoots the nine, which he will, he'll get the angle on the five to go into the pile, and the eight will be insurance. I but I'm saying, like, what angle are you talking about? Get above it and go into the pile? Get on the end rail. Well, that's what I was saying. It looks like to me to do that, no, you had to draw off the five. Well, he's going to he's gonna go one rail off the five now. you got to hit the balls. I He'll like, have the eight. I like that angle a little better than the draw or underneath. Just if the five was over a little more, I really like the underneath one, but I think. He, he's probably going to be up in the air with the cue, though, after this shot, meaning he's going to be elevated. Got to go into him now. Okay. He's got the eight. Yeah, he's got the eight, and good thing. That was the insurance ball. So big, plain insurance balls. Uh, if the 15 goes after he clears the 12... Uh, he doesn't have many worries here. He's got to produce his break shot. Now, the 11 is nice if you could get, if you had a ball right by that side where you could stop, stop on the seven last and get on that 11 and fall behind it, that's a nice break shot. Well, he's Darren Appleton. He'll fall on the seven straight in with well, something. I'm just saying I would like a, another ball over there to make it, make it a little easier, Danny. I know, but he's, he doesn't have that, so he'll, he'll do it. I'm, I'm worried about that. He could go forward off this ball easily, too. Bumping the 10 a little bit. He doesn't have to. But the one will open a little downward. Certainly doesn't have to, though. But I'm surprised he's not taking the 12 away. He's okay, though. He's really okay. I'm pretty sure he's decided he wants to. Oh, oh, oh. There goes our uh, pass. You see the tongue come out a little bit. He, a little giggle after that one. He certainly didn't want to go into those balls. That changed my path. Yeah, certainly. And But he's still okay. He can produce a break shot. He yeah. still needs to get the 12 out of there, though. That way he can get over to that 6 and then use the 10 to do something. But, but now... Okay, we'll see. Well, that's what I was looking. That's I thought he should have looked at that angle right there uh, for the last shot to get get position on. But we'll see what he does. I still think he'll probably produce something. Can he get? Okay, nice shot. Now you just go to the six here, Danny, or, or right? Yeah, I don't go the six into is the balls. Use, well, I mean, he could play yeah, above the right. four also, but I think the six is kind of useless. Go to the six. Yeah, just two rails with a little inside, playing the, the six in the upper left-hand corner, and you'll notice he'll, that'll give shape for the ten. Yeah, the ten does go. Yeah, and you can probably get on the, the. There's a little problem with that seven still, though. That's what he's thinking. He's like, man, where's my plan to get to the seven? This is a, actually could unfold to like that little drill you do where you leave the one and two last and you shoot the one and you bump the two into position for the break and you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. He's got the 10. But is he straight? Yeah. He is. He's straight in. Well, he's going to have to do what I was talking about, I think. I think he's got to roll forward. Get the seven out of there, because that's going to be a problem if he leaves it. And then play for that shot on the one and two, having the six there to play position on. Now, he can power this a little bit, trying to move the two ball, like so. But he's got to have a good touch, a nice shot. Good touch is right. Yeah, that was a little dicey. And now he's perfect. He's got an angle on the six to get to the seven. The two is out. Oh, I think it's out. Uh, I think it is, too. It's real close to the... The diamond rack is a, a thicker rack. Well, not, not super thick, but a little bit thicker, so. He doesn't look real confident about things. He's going to. Is he playing short side? Is he trying to bump this out, maybe, for, to produce the seven for another I, one? I don't think so. Well, that's what he pointed his cue at, I think. I don't think so. Yeah, well, now he's missed it, and it's really going to produce a lot of problems. He may have to it. bank the seven, really, if he wants to try and really run out. Well, 
this is, I mean, if he shoots the two, unless he hits it really hard trying to get on the seven, I'll tell you what he could do. This is what he needs to do, probably. He needs to try and shoot the two, hold the cue ball right there for the bank on the seven, and knock the one in front of the hole. What do you think about that, Danny? Could he do that? Oh, I think he can do that for sure. Okay, but how do you get position for the seven doing that? Hold right there on the ball for the cross side. The cross oh, side's you got easy. Him banking. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's easy. I know you're it's right. It's easy. I mean, what else are you going to do to where you can get, get some points? I don't know if it's easy. Now you're off angle on everything. I'm just saying, at least that way, you don't have to shoot the seven as the break, right? Right. Now he got nowhere. Yeah. He's got to bank the one just in self defense, but the seven -defense. won't be a break shot. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, how do you make the seven a unless he goes past it. I would cuts draw it. into it. I would have drawn this, into this, it. This. That was a great shot, but now yeah. he's got another tester that you don't, you, at this angle, you don't want to hit it super hard, so it's hard to go in that rack and get a lot uh, shaken loose. Okay, I got a few more to thank. These are supporters that did support more than one event. Got Anthony Hosigno, Florida. Robert Farwell, California, Michael Frank, Maryland, and Merrill Denny from Alabama. Guys, thank you all. No. I hope you're enjoying it all. I'm sure they are. Now, Darren with a great bank there to get on this shot. Now, he did about as well as he could, really considering. Well, now, does he roll this or does he pound it? No, you can't shorten the pocket up. You got to just take the take. Going into the top of the balls, I think, just as much as you can. I mean, what else? Oh. Well, oh. well. now he's going to send the cue ball down table for safe. He's got to make sure he gets a rail with the cue ball because he's not wanting to hit it to where the rack opens enough to get a rail, meaning a ball well, contacting on a rail. If he hits the paint on the 14, he won't open it, but get that cue ball to hit the end rail. It's a winning shot. He doesn't like it much, but you got to do it. Yeah, he's close enough to it. I mean, he's on the rail, but still, though, he's not sitting to where he's got to shave it. He's got to hit it thin, but he's not. Oh, he hit he it great. Hit it no, at all. he hit it. He, he hit it. He hit it. Yeah, he hit. I it. didn't see it move. <laughs> no, you see the three balls apart from the rack. Do you notice that? Do you see the threes just a little off? Yeah, yeah. That shows you right there. He did hit. It. He just barely got it. Well, that's why I said you hit the paint. Well, he certainly hit the paint. No, he hit it great, and he actually hit it to where he makes this escape for Corey a little easier because well, the balls are so contained. Well, he's got to kick behind the pile and take a scratch. That's what he's got to do. He's, he's not just, doing that. He's, oh, I don't like that. He's trying that. to play safe. Hopefully nothing gets dead. Yeah, I didn't like that. And we haven't seen many of the, the uh, safety parts of the game. We've seen a few where they take the intentionals and re-rack the balls. But we haven't seen many without the intentional scratches. These guys have been just running so many, we should have played games to 300, I guess, so we could see if safety or yeah. two. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. I know you are. But still, though, it shows you that, you know, these guys just oh, he's gonna playing get incredible. The worst of that. Most likely, you would think he's going to get pinned in the stack, right, Danny? Right. He's going to shoot six to the rail now and, put, and pin him on the, on the two. What we're talking about is don't even try and make a ball at all. Just uh, play yeah, safety yeah. and try and shake one loose from the pack and, and really leave him, uh, leave him stuck to the top side of that rack once the six, re six is re removed. Excuse me. Well, he's got a pretty easy safe shooting the six to the rail. Well, you can believe Corey's going to inspect the rack, right, Danny? Right. He, he's looking to make a trick shot. I mean, in a sense, he, I mean, if it's there, he, he'll he figure it out. Is he looking at the two off the nine? Well, he's going to challenge him on the 14 ball bank, but I, the thing about that is the guy's either going to want to bank it or not bank it. I don't but think there's he's, no reward banking it, so he could do that. Right, but I'm but saying you like he, he's going to get bank put. It. Yeah, he's going to get put on the end rail, isn't he? Right. Now you just cut the 14 and put the guy all the way upstream. Well, the only thing I could tell you then is, Corey, I think it, that six must have been laying against that 10 ball to where it just wasn't very good for him to do what we were talking about. Like, he couldn't get it by the 10 so easily. 
Because I got to believe he would have done, uh, done your shot. And what Danny's saying is, okay, Darren, this is what Corey's, uh, Corey's saying to, to Darren. Okay, you can bank at this, but you're not going to get it anymore. Now's the 12 dead off the 8. It looks like it's over kissing. Over kissing, okay. Just don't let him see the 14. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I would be concerned as far as it fits close. I think Corey can manufacture it, and that's what I got a problem with. Like if, if the 12 even close. Close he, is not going to get it. I understand. I understand, but I've, I've played him a lot. And I looked at the stack, thought everything was okay, even even knowing he knew a lot of stuff, and I, I never shot again from the end rail. So he's amazing uh, when it comes to getting the ball out of the stack. And what I'm thinking is he just can't hit it with, t with a draw stroke to 12. It's real close. Is he fouling? I think it's over kissing. Well, he must have a plan here. Well, he, and you saw that at the very end that he, he'd rather re-break him. And you'll notice he broke the balls well in this match. And well, that's what could happen because he's going to put him right back. Yeah, and then uh, and, and Corey didn't want to he didn't want to waste his extension. He got he got stuck and the shot clock was winding down and. He just decided, I don't like it, meaning he's probably going to take three fouls in a row. When that situation comes up, tell us about that, Danny. Okay, let's wait till it comes up. But, you know, you lose 15 plus one each shot. And then you got to break them at the start of the game. Oh, he got a rail. He Good sure shot. did. Good shot. And there's balls that pass, so. No longer could Darren put him upstream. Oh, well, he's playing the 15. He's already called it. He's going to get a second look at it here and just make oh, sure. Better watch he don't foul it. Well, he's going to, I don't think, I think he wants to throw it a hair. So I think he wants to shoot away, like going with the cue ball up table. Like shoot straight at the six with the cue, with the cue ball. But again, we're playing all ball fouls. Well, it's not going to throw. Ooh, that way. I'm not sure. I don't like shooting into that one. No kidding. Yeah, that's, that's, and I'm afraid I'm not going to even, maybe even get the ball to the hole. You know, where he's hitting the 11, there is no I, throw. Yeah. But you got to watch it. He could foul. He could foul. And I, I can't quite get a great look at it. But I think he shoots towards the six like this to make it, I think. And he's going to get a plenty of I speed think it on goes. it. I like it. Oh, oh, look at that. It Didn't hung. go. Did throw a little bit. Yeah. And Appleton, Appleton can't believe it. Yeah, and with an 80 to 73 lead, that nifty little shot uh, by Corey Duell. That did something. These players are yep. going to take a timeout, Danny. We will, too. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Okay, he's shooting the 8, which is also, uh, Danny was talking about that 12, not not as easy as it looks. If he catches this 15, the 8's not going. You're right. And he hit it clean, though. Now you'll see he's going to play some type of combination. It'll be the 315, but he's got to draw his ball a little bit. Can't afford to go forward. Well, he don't have to draw the ball. A little right-hand English will be just as effective. Yeah, but I'm just he needs to stay behind the 14, whichever yeah, way. Yeah, he will. Yeah. little right-hand English. Nice shot. Make them both, though. No. Make one, carry one. Now here, I think he can, he's got to be a little concerned. Like he can shoot the 14-3 and come out to the center of the table, getting on the 11 to open the rack, and it's real safe to draw off the rack. Sitting pretty good. You'll see the 13-4 will open the 2-9. But if he shoots this combination, he's got to be, he's either got to hit it lightly and hold for the 14 and then play that shape. But the thing, where's the 14 going? That's what I, the only thing I was concerned. When on the bottom of the table. Yeah, but he was aware. He hit it well to do so. Like if yeah, it, it didn't affect the outcome. Right. But I've had balls hold up and hit the rail, and it covers all those shots, Those ten, that 10, 11, and 12. It's amazing where the, where the balls will get sometimes. Now, this following this, he's got to have a good speed. 
know why I follow it. Just stop there. Well, he, he can't stop. 10. That's why I'm saying he's oh, shooting no, the 10. I, he's yeah, got to have I, a good speed here. Or else look he gets, what we got. That's, that's why I like the 11 more and drawing the ball back for he's the 10 the or 12. He's okay. He's okay, but don't he's... Don't foul. Don't foul. He's probably going to try and contact the 11 fairly full. Don't let it skid either. Put a good stroke on it. I know you're using the bridge, but you still got to hit it well. Nice good shot. shot. Good shot. Don't get on the point. He got on the point. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little unlucky. He doesn't have any balls to shoot off it, and he's smiling because he knows that's not good. Okay, well, and the thing is, he doesn't really want to shoot the two and move the one. Does the one go? That would be a, a, a key ball. Other I think the one does go. And the nine, the nine obviously doesn't go. So now we have a situation here with that 11 the way it is. Yeah, it went bad. We'll see. I'm sure with the four going, that's going to help things out. But you'll notice he's just, he's got to get the nine and five open or play some short position behind it. So is he going to go to the six now, Danny? I would. I would. It's doing nothing down there. You got a way to get there. Yeah, I wish. Well. Well, he's looking at shooting the 11 right now. It's missable. Yeah, I don't think that's really much of a consideration, but we'll see. I think going to the six is okay. Right. That's but, a good shot. Yeah, the reason why is because even if he doesn't, okay. He didn't do it. He's really worried about that nine and five, and I kind of understand that, but. With the one and two both there, I think he could have left it there and been okay. Well, he could roll forward on the two, and that takes care of the nine and five. Yeah, but there's two to get rid of still that are trouble, and that's the six and the 11, well, so. with the right angle on the nine, you can go into the 11. Yeah, well. And he knows it. He did get pretty good on it. Well, he's going to catch the one if he shoots that nine, for sure. You think so? 100%. That's why I was, I was saying... I but don't really he, like going away from those unless I'm picking two of them off. Now, if he if he had gotten to where he could go ahead and shoot the five and nine away and get on the 11, I mean, he's got issues. He's got problems here. Well, he might be planning. For what? To shoot the 11 upstream and go to the six off it. Well, I, I understand that, but he's, he's going to have to fall nice on the 11. He's going to have to get past the point, not well, only with the 11, but also with the cue ball. So. With the nine, he could fall on it pretty well. You want to get straight in on it. Like this. Yeah, nice now he touch, can go to little the bounce. Six. He's got to have some concern now. Yeah, don't hit the point. Don't hit the point and don't uh, fall straight in here. You're going to probably be a little off the rail, but you could get a little flat. But everything's about making the ball here. Nice shot. Nice Great. shot. And he's got a little bit of an angle. He can either. Perfect. He can check it up one rail towards the one, or he can go two rails if he wants to put a little more speed on it. Yeah, so. I like two rails. Yeah, if you're feeling good and if you're hitting the ball well, two rails gets you closer to the one, that's for sure. Like so. Oh, he let up on it, Danny, a little bit. Well, he's okay. Again, just don't miss. Yeah, but he turned it into a, Yeah, it's a little missable. Now he's got an 86 to 80 lead. And really, not only is he trying to win this he's match. He's making faces and he's shaking his head, so he doesn't like it real well. Got to shoot it. Oh, Oh, he's shooting it. But he's not going to hit it real hard. Well, that's one thing I was about to mention, that Corey with the break shot, for the most part, he's looked at it like, all right, how can I break this? Get him open pretty decent, you know, at least get him open enough to what I figure is going to produce a shot and still make the ball that I'm shooting at at a high rate. This is a tough shot. Meaning he's not going to blast it. He's going to hit it about medium. That way he kind of controls everything that's going on. Good shot. Really nice, and he held for the 13. Beautiful. That was a great shot. Now he's either going to have to look for a kiss shot or he's really going to have to... The 11 in the side? Does 11 go in the side? It'd be nice if he could get on that somehow. I don't know how he'd do it. No, it doesn't. Well, I think it goes, but I just don't see the way. So he's going to have to shoot the two at some time. 
and produce from there. But you'll notice with any angle, the 11's really slowing the cue ball down. So we'll see. This is a toughie if you ask me. Well, he's going to get the two out of there. He's going to try and draw off the 11 and, and get a shot on the 11, I believe, anyways. That's the only safe route. He could hit this with a lot of speed, but the 11's going to not only slow the cue ball down, it's going to send it in kind of a rough direction. So what do you think? Do you go with a high ball and take a chance, or do you draw yeah, off the Yeah, I 11? go with the high ball. You do? Yeah. Okay, well. Because I, the worst can happen is he'll have the five up the corner. Yeah, well, that... I don't mean it's an easy shot, but, no. but it's a possible shot. I just think that. he's going to, I think it's sitting so good that he could really knock the 11 in such a nice place. Like, even if you're here, at least you got he a did. You're right. decent action. Now he can go into the pile. Yeah, and at least you're going to have some speed on the cue ball, that's for sure. And it looks like if he goes into the 7, he's going to open a few. Maybe even to the 9 and then the 7, huh, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't go right into the 7. And catch a little a decent, you know, you want to catch just like a quarter of the nine with some speed. So he'll put a little bit on this. Uh, that's pretty good. You would figure he's going to get a shot. He's got the nine in the side, though. Yes, he does. That might be it. Yeah, and then he's got the ten in the side, so. Yeah, he doesn't have the eight. Nine ball looks good. Uh, it was a great like you game. say, the ten ball's next. Yeah, this is just bearing down and do what do what you do. And he's he's been whenever he just has to get down and roll the ball in, he's he's shot it at a high percentage this week. And again, he's got to do the same thing on this uh, seven. Why well, can he get at the eight? I don't know. I don't. I think he can. He does. He has the eight. Right between the what seven and. I guess the ten's too too much cut, huh? Because it sure yeah, makes it, it okay. It makes it nice to fall behind the twelve. This is good. Now he's got the seven. Can hit the balls. Open them. He's gonna brush off the uh, fourteen. Yeah, he's got to hit the way it's sitting. It looks like it'll definitely open the fifteen, but I'm not sure how much of it it's gonna open the three. If he hit a lot of the uh, left side of it. With some speed, it would open the three, but I'm not sure how much else it's going to open. It's going to knock the four out. Yeah, I could get at the four. Now you can see the 15 going, the 14 going off the four if he was going to the bottom of it. But well, he wants to get rid of this ball. Don't miss it. This is no bargain. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot is right. Perfect speed. He hit it well anyway, but he hit it with, at that speed that opened the pocket up nicely. He's got the 12. Could he still go to the 7? Possibly. The 4 definitely doesn't go. The 6 doesn't go in either pocket. Well, I think he's got to get on the 7. I it? think you're exactly right. And then with a high ball. Well, he's queuing downward, so he's making sure he gets on the 7 by using the 10. Is that That's what that's telling me. Yeah. Okay, he didn't want to roll forward there and end up short and then have to shoot the seven away without any angle. So, oh, he's coming at now. Uh, don't come at him now. You don't have to come at him now, no, right? Go to the seven. I think go to the seven. He's got enough angle to fall down on the left side of the seven, right? Yeah, he does. But if he looks like he's going to try to draw into the balls. He, he could get safe here. Yeah, he better not hit that 15 just dead full. He may not get anything. Pretty good. Good shot. Great shot. Okay, you shoot the 15 right here, right? No, oh, you could shoot the four and then the six. Yeah, but the four's not hurting you. He's real nice on the 15. I think he can shoot this and get where he can just throw the 14 in and have the seven, just bump the seven, no? Has he got too much cut on the 15? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would shoot the four. Okay, now he's got a high ball where he just splits them and... He's got the three. He should be good. Don't try and draw off the edge of the seven. Just go with a high ball, knowing if you split them, you're going to bounce them just separated, just, just enough. You're definitely going to get a shot on one, right? Yep. Keep it simple. 
Don't try and draw off the seven. It's a nice high ball. He's going to try and draw off the seven, so he's going to have to shave it just right. Don't don't dive towards that corner. Yeah, see, he tried to draw oh, a little boy. bit. He should he should have hit a high ball no. and bumped him. He can't even make the six, I don't think. No, he's got to cut the seven, and he's got to hit it well. This is no bargain. No, he made a shot similar two days ago, and he hit it really well. Just really clean, never a doubt. He's close to it, so he's, I feel like he should make it. He made it. And not only hit it well, he avoided all contact on the 14 and the 6, which is was important. He, now he's going to play for the 14, right, Danny? Yeah, but he's got to play from where did he um... He's nice, though. He can just stop his ball or pinch it back two inches, and he's got the 6 on the side to drop below the rack, right? Yeah, but I, I like shooting on the 14 in the other pocket. Too bad the six is there. In the other pocket? What do you mean the other pocket? The one to the right. Yeah, that's where he's going to shoot. He's going to draw back and then fall below oh, it. Oh, well, that's going to be tricky. Well, he didn't really draw his ball there. He should have drew his ball to where he could get to the left of the 14. I think he can still punch it, though. I think he can still punch it and get below the 14 but a little don't bit. don't get too thin. Yeah, nice shooting. Nice shooting. Good shot. And Corey Duell with uh, even 100. Uh, I had 100 to 80 and a crucial match for both the guys. Corey uh, kind of controlling his own destiny, even though he has a, a and one loss, he only got 66 points, which is still yeah, decent. That's no, that's good. pretty good, actually, considering some of the, the recent matches. <laughs> yeah, considering Appleton got none. Right, and Corey. This game is way more important for Duell than for Appleton. Well, in a sense, for sure. Now, uh, Corey, Math, you would figure would still be having a uh, would still be involved in the mix even if he loses here. But uh, Appleton will be eliminated because three losses are not going to get you to the finals. But Corey controls his own destiny because he's two and one. He this is his fourth, and if you get to four and one after five matches, you're going to be in the final. Okay, he's going to need the eleven to not go in. Hit the point. There you go. Or else he was going to have to shoot a little bit of a long three and. You know, anytime you have to shoot at long distance. Okay. I think he can use the 11 to get on the 3 to get on, like, the 7 and break the rack. No reason to try and get on it now. You could use the 6 as well. Oh, he, oh uh, he cheated the pocket, but now he's going to have to shoot the 5. You got to draw it, huh, Danny? What, off the seven? No, on the five. Draw the ball back into the center of the table. Forward's funny, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, I think the two is dead besides. Well, with the five there, I don't think he has to. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, now shoot six and get the three out of there. Go ahead and get all the way back there. Get the three out of there. He's got the perfect angle, and from the three, he can go anywhere. Yeah, I kind of like maybe trying to get them balls open a little bit first, but and pill and, no and making and making a few of them. But no, I understand that three's not just really doing a whole lot for you. No, get the three out of there. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah, I think you're right. Make sure you don't fall on the rail. Just stay in the center of the table, get a little angle to come back down. Right. He's got it. He needs to get the 13 out of there, though, too, right? That way he opens up the 1 and the 8 and all that. Well, I don't know about that. You know, he can break them with 7. He won't have to get where you're talking. Shoot the 3 and go 2 rails and shoot the 7 and go into the balls. Yeah, you're not worried about them getting too much not on top all. of each not other with all. the other ones there? Well, now he's, he wishes the 13 was out of there. Right. Where he got on seven. Not going to shoot a combination, I don't think. I think he's okay. I think he's, I think he's, let's see. Well. Does the eight go? Uh, No, I don't think okay. so. 
You got a little flat on this one though, Danny. You got a little flat on this, meaning he's a little straight. Now he's going to definitely have to use the 10 unless he's trying to go into something now. So Does we'll he see. he have an angle to get to it? Uh, he's queuing up. He's not rearing up, but he's queuing up like he's hitting it with some speed. No, he didn't get there. Nope. And you got to draw that ball a little bit and sacrifice a little distance so you make sure you get that shot. If you try to creep in at a small angle, the speed has just got to be perfect. No, he's got nothing. Not even a trick shot. No, he's going to be exiting the table on a safety here. I don't see anything at all. He's got to be careful doing that. Don't leave him a little cut with on the 10 with the right hand. It didn't get a rail either, and that's going to be... That's going to be disaster. Yeah, exactly right. He may have left him a cut on the 8. I don't know if he can reach it righty. He's looking at it. And if you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, we're in our final match of day three of our Make It Happen Straight Pole Invitational. I'm Jeremy Jones with AccuStat Video Productions, joined by Hall of Famer Danny DiLiberto. You can see who's playing here between dual Napleton and dual uh, leading 106 to 80. He wants to shoot the eight. Well, he's really good with the bridge. and. He figures if he gets long distance, at least if he doesn't hit anything, he'll be able to shoot the two. So no, if he doesn't get anything, mind. Corey's on the scratch. Well, that tr that too. But uh, also, we have our Saturday lineup available now, and that'll be at noon. Uh, Darren will be back playing uh, young Joshua Filler. At 2:30, it'll be Corey Duell against Shane Van Boning. And then at 7 o'clock, before our final at 9.30, it'll be Orcullo and Jason Shaw. And that final at 9.30, Dan Danny, that should be something to watch. It's going to be two, the two guys with the two best records playing for this championship. And you can see how everyone's playing so well that uh, you got to believe the, guy, the two guys that make the final. I mean, you could, you, we're we're going to see shot. some big runs. He's going to run into the tent. Yeah, it depends if he... I don't know if he can get rewarded here, but again, Corey is on a scratch. Well, you, I wouldn't want to bet against Darren on this type of shot or any of them tough shots. Great shot, and he hit it with, he hit it with a lot of control. Yeah, and he's got a shot. And the 15 looks awfully nice, doesn't it? As a break it's shot. a little high. A little bit, huh? Yep. He's going to use the bridge again. Could come up into him. He's got a little angle, but. Okay. Do a lot to move the four anyway, even if he doesn't touch the nine. Like, he touched the nine nicely. But even right. if he just bumped the four away, that would have opened a lot also. Knowing he always had the 12 in the side and the two in, well, the, he's uh, got the, two in the corner. He's got the for a break shot now. Or the ball on the side. I'll just go ahead and get the 10 off now, right? Right. Come up one rail for those two balls, or, get, or actually come up for the ball on the side and then fall on those two, I think. You'll notice that once if he shoots at the four later on, the nine will go easily in the side also. So he's got a lot of options. Definitely shoot the 12 first. Okay. Well, we're going to see two rail position off the four. That's exactly what it looks like. That's for sure a good call there, Danny. He's going to hold on the four right here and Perfect. come around two rails behind. Oh, just a little bit shy of where he's at now, a little bit to the right of where he's at now. Don't spin it too much. Need a little bit of spin, but mainly more top and get away from the ball. Pretty good. Could have got a little better, but pretty right. good. That little extra English made a fuller hit on the 15 now, but he's still okay. Yeah, and he, I guess he probably didn't want to risk getting too much behind it because you'll notice the 15's pretty high, so if he gets too much behind it, he may not hit much of the rack anyways. Pretty solid out, though, and really what he needed. 
Now he's got a big decision. Making the eight was pretty good. Well, I think I think you do go forward. Well, that one turned wow, out nice. Wow, with power. Yeah. Powerful stroke there. Yeah, if you could repeat that on every break shot. Oof, look at the way the ball's opened. It opened like an umbrella. Yeah, that was. I don't think this is necessary. I know no, it's, it's not. I, I know it's easy, but I don't think it's necessary. They're open really nice. Unless he's a, with the 114 no, too there, I wouldn't shove anything no, towards I, those I, balls I, over no, there. I don't I'd, think it's. I don't think yeah. he's supposed to shoot the nine. No, just get your run started. You got a bunch of them open. You can come from underneath a lot of different ways. It, now, if you wanted to do that, that's one thing too. But I, that, I'd rather come from underneath like that than just shove other balls on top of he's other ones. He's got the nine, the seven, the thirteen. He's he's. And he, they're all open. No, he's in good shape here. This is the type of rack you just really never expect a guy like Darren to to really not produce exactly what he wants. But he hasn't been producing. No, it's been, and it's been a miss here and there that has really surprised us. And again, he's, I'm not sure this is necessary either. Nice shot, though. But he could have used the four or the two to get on oh, over there. But then he's kind of trying to get a little rhythm going, it looks like, huh, Danny? Yeah, I thought he had it earlier, but he, he missed some shots. Might look at getting the cue ball clean there. It's got a couple spots on it. You're right. That could cause a skid. Yeah, especially when you got the balls open and you're just playing real light shots from one to the next. Uh, yeah, see the marks on it? Yeah, he doesn't really have to break anything anymore or draw the ball real hard. It's just He's just playing real natural little. Mainly stop shots. But okay. you're right, have the cue ball clean. Could be disaster, like right here. Okay. Look out. Oh, boy. He's decided to use the eight. Oh, the eight's a good break shot. Yeah, now he'll leave the two for last. He'll notice probably the one last. I don't know. It depends on what he gets on here. He got a little straight, so he's got to make a decision. Do I want to cut the t three or do I want to shove for the three or shove for the seven? Okay, he decided I'm just going to, I guess, use the one because he's not going to take a chance on the three ball with the one well, being the right there. Seven will get him to the two, all right. Right. Got to have good speed, nice touch. Did he get too straight on the No, track? he's great. I mean, he doesn't even okay. have to draw it. He just spin it with a little bit of left, making sure he stays above the seven with a little angle. That way he can get off the rail. Main, main thing is here, just pay attention to all these balls because it's been a lot of times a kind of an easy one that, that got Darren. It wasn't so much the tough shot. Nice shooting. And now, ball game, 106 for Duel, 101 for Appleton. Incredible, incredible play we've seen the last couple of days. The first day, Filler really ended the night with a big match. Uh, we, I wouldn't say we saw the guys struggle, but we saw, you know, some break shots that got away from him and a few uh, re-breaks that got away from him. It wasn't too, too many misses. He's going to hit this one. He's not rolling it. Yeah. Well, nice kiss there, and look at this. Got the two. Yeah, and got really the just... three. Exactly. Yeah, I like shooting uh, 13 away, and if I could fall on on something to get on that three and get on that nine, and then it's pretty smooth sailing from there besides the one that's pinned in the middle of the end rail. So at some time or another, you'll look at that. It doesn't have to go in. Don't shoot the two. Just play it real simple. Go forward on the, for the 15, get out for the three, and then you just open the nine, and then you're you're golden. I think, anyway. What do you, th what do you think, Danny? That's exactly right. The only thing... You got the five in the side after that. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dan. You got to get the nine out of there. You're right. But when you go to the nine, you got to have an insurance possible other one. Well, the six goes. So, I mean, you're always going to be okay if you just... And he could shoot the two away. That's that's perfect, too. Shoot the two away and then the three. You're not going to have many problems. He's got the angle right now to go one rail off the two and hit the uh, four. Then he'll have that nine out of there. Well, yeah. he's not doing that. 
No, I like this. I think just play for the nine. You'll notice the five goes in the other side, so he'll play for the nine ball right here. Then play for the five in the opposite side. Then he can stop for the 11-10 and then, and then start working on getting that one ball. Okay, did that go enough? It's real close. He he didn't get there. He doesn't he's, have the nine. He's, he's got the six. Well, that's upsetting to him because I think he really had plans on the six for a uh, break ball. That's why I like the two going into the four. Well, that would have had the nine. If he falls full on the three, he had a real, really just like a stop shot to get on. And I agree with him going now to the one because off the one, he can fall on the nine with no problem still. Oh, he's doing it now anyways. He's got the nine right now. Yeah, and he'll just hold for the five in the opposite side. And if you'll see that, it just he can stop his ball pretty much for the 11 and 10. And then probably drop. That's probably when he, you'll see him shoot the 12 and get on down there for the one. So Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And that's what you want, real full hits. Right. Shoot the five, stop right there. Now, let me ask you something. Do you shoot the five, Danny, and hold the angle to shoot the 10 and go down and get the one and then come back? That's right. We still got the one. I mean, or do you go ahead and knock the 10, 11, 12 away? I like going to get it immediately if possible, just because the 11, 12 go to both pockets. Well, you have he's a got lot of the options. angle to do it. I think that's correct, actually. I really do. And then he can come down the left side of the table and have plenty of options to shoot on the 11, 12, and then get on you know, the four. The one is sitting tricky. You don't want to get too straight on it. No, but you don't want to wait either. Like if he played to get perfect on the 10 right here to make it very easy to get to the, you know, just to pass the middle of the, end, uh, the side rail maybe. What do you think? Yeah. I think it's okay. Even if he wanted to draw it down there. You go one rail and get to about he fouled. second down. He fouled. He fouled? He called a foul on himself. Yeah, he touched, wow. he touched the, it had to be the pink four, I'm guessing, with his hand. I didn't hear his cue or I didn't see a ball really move. And a lot of times when you move it with the cue, it moves a little more. So it was probably just a little something subtle on his hand. Well, he's a gentleman, call it on himself, because I don't think the referee saw it. I don't think so either. I didn't see it. No, I wasn't really trying to pay attention to it. Well, but, I mean, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have seen it anyways, but probably you'll, it doesn't take much, obviously. We've been calling it all week, following everything, and we watch it. But that time we slept it. And Corey got a little thin, but it's manageable. And, he, and that's the thing. If you get a little thin, if you leave the 11 and 12 there, well, you don't have to be so perfect coming down the rail because right. you got choices. Straight is worse than a little thin. That's right. Okay, he missed that, it. That oh, needs boy. to slow down, though. I thought he missed it. That needs to slow down. He, no, he's he, okay. Yeah, he's okay. But don't go. He didn't want to go much further than that, though. Okay. Just a little angle on the on the 12 from up above. He can come two rails or one rail. Just depends. Oh, he held it. One rail. Wow, go he straight. No oh. rail. No, that's better for sure, but I didn't know he could hold his ball like that. I thought he had a little angle on the 12. Really nice shot. Great. Ooh. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's just got to pinch it back a little bit. Right. You, you probably won't see him hit the rail with the cue ball here. Nice Perfect. shot. Well, you got to take advantage of Appleton's foul. Yeah, and you might say for Darren this week, if it hadn't been one thing, it's been another. Uh, but he did it. Well, I'm saying, that, you know, yeah. he's had some misses. He's had some bad rolls, of course. Now he's had a foul. He had a guy run 150 on him. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, it's just it been uh, really just... Uh, but the 150 was painless. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still, you know... It's the only 150 we've had, and it was against Darren Appleton, which really put him, pardon the pun, behind the eight ball, Danny. We yeah. can't see it. Yeah, that's what. Can't yeah, see it. he must have rubbed it with his uh, with his bottom of his hand a little bit. The pink four. The gentleman to call it on himself. 
Yeah, you had a situation earlier in the tournament. I believe it was the eight ball tournament, I, I think, if I remember correctly. It may have been the beginning of the straight pull event, but they had to go back to the tape. I right, better uh -oh. hope that uh -oh. Oh, the three's got a little bit of a pocket. Does it? It's, it doesn't have the entire pocket, but we I had to go. It. Darren thought he may have fouled, and we had to go back to the tape to make sure he asked for that to happen. So definitely a, a man that, you know, has the right frame of mind when it comes to competing. He doesn't want to cheat anybody. He wants to earn it. All right, now you'll just shoot the combination or the, or the two, whichever one puts you on the on the other side of the nine, right, Danny, and the 13 after you shoot this eight? Yeah, he'll have the right angle to do it. Now, he could just ease this in as well, not taking a chance on the seven tying up and then just play position from the seven to them balls, but probably not. Probably do like that. Now, 115 to 109. It's crunch time, that's for sure. So you're gonna roll the 13. Okay. Don't let the cue ball get like over the top of the 15 here. It shouldn't really matter, but nice He's shot. Fine. And he really doesn't have any trouble balls in my mind. He doesn't, and he's got a break shot. Yeah, he needs to probably, I would think, Get at the, yeah, the 9 and the 7 and all that and the 14 just to open that 10 and 11 up. Well, I used to say, well, he'll get just the 10. don't miss. Yeah, and now get... I'm going to say just don't foul. Yeah, right. Well, he's going to get on the, uh, he's going to, uh, well, I guess he doesn't really want to shoot the 9 just straight out after he shoots the 5 because just coming out of that pocket with the 14 there, it's a little funny, so. Dang, I like that. If he could have got there a little better, a little more full on it, that would have been nice. I don't see anything he could do wrong. You going into the 10? Yeah. That could have been wrong. Yeah, that's that's the one I was like a little, I wouldn't want to rearrange anything with the 14 being not gone and 14 still be on the well, table. Well, he's got huh? the 12 and get the 14 out of there. And he wanted to use the 12 as his break. But I so. know, but... He can't come to the back side of the balls using the 15 and then trying to get the 14 as well. I think he can. He may have to hit it with a little more speed than he wants, but that's okay. That way you got a bunch of options that way. You Good try, shot. Yeah, you try to get there, and if you do, you do. Good if shot. you don't, Yeah. He's got to peel one of them away, though, right, Danny? Shoot the 10 right now. Hey, absolutely. I don't wait on the 10. Well, he's going to shoot the 10 and then roll, shoot the 14, roll the 10, and get to the 4. Well, he's too good on the 10 right That's now. That's why I think so, too. Don't pass when you're good on it already. Yeah, he's looking at it. You can easily get Shoot from the, the fort. 10. Tough yeah. to miss. Well, he does want I to guess this it. is a little more natural, but when you're talking about shooting the ball down the rail, he's not even going to worry about it. He's going to say they're close. To, they're not too close to each other, but I think they are to leave both of them. What do you think? You're right. I I, I called shooting the 10, but now he'll shoot he's going to be all right. Yeah. And that was a pretty smart shot, really coming around to the, at least the middle of the table, trying to get on the 10. As long as he has the right speed to do it. Right. Well, is he going to shoot the four now? No way, right? No way he's shooting it. Well. Well, he figures he's got two balls to fall on. Yeah, but he better get above it. And then whenever you're trying to get above it, you can't Perfect. overhit this it is either. Good. This yeah, that is was good. great. That was a lot more important to be uh, right on the speed than people may think. If he underhits it, he's in trouble. If he overhits it, he's in trouble. Nice shot. And Corey now, if he knocks this one down, he's at 125, needing 25 more to get his third win. And again, yeah. he controls his own destiny here. He can need one more break shot. You know, I'll tell you, Corey has a good chance to be in the finals. He's, he was already in the finals and really had played the best eight ball. Probably, the, probably three out of the four days he played the best eight ball. Now, in the final day, it just so happened his break kind of left him and he had a couple misses. But And also in the straight pool, he's, he hadn't had the highest runs, but he's 
like we'll, we'll try and see when he did get to shoot. He had a run of 77 when he defeated Jason Shaw in his opening match. He lost to Joshua Filler when Filler ran 137, but Corey only got 66 in that match, but he had a run of 65. And then he ran 75 in a win over Dennis Acuyo last night. And he had a run of 77 in another match. Right. That was his opening match against Jason Shaw. So it wasn't really like, you know, to be shot. honest with you, he might have the highest average. I mean, Dennis's average you would think is going to be hard to beat just because he's got 150 in one inning. But Corey's, at, Corey's inning average is going to be pretty high. Okay, as Danny talked about, you can see he's got 127. We're playing to 150, so he needs 23. Needs one more break shot. Yeah, he'll need the uh, 13 out of the 14 left on this table, plus uh, 10 more. So he's a little funny here as far as it doesn't sit real great to re-break the balls besides the ball on the bottom rail. And you'll see he doesn't really have anything guaranteed when he does that, huh, Danny? No, he doesn't. You would think he would get something, but... He's going to hit three if he does that. Okay, he decided to come out for the four to break. And then he's got one on the bottom rail to figure to get a shot. Yeah, draw the ball here and nothing bad can happen. I think he can follow it, to be honest with you. He I could, think, but I've I, still got to draw it. But I with gotta, the 10 there, you follow, you figure you almost got to get a shot, right, Danny? And if you come out to the we'll middle. Oh, he did it. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like the How insurance on that a little more. congested, but he's got the ball on the side because they did get congested. Yeah, they got a little congested. I think the 14 goes, though. I mean, I think. Oh, yeah, once he's got this ball on the side. Yeah, he does. He's got to make a decision here, though, because he's got to either come around like this. Now he's now. Good okay, speed. Good speed. He, he probably is going to end up shooting the 15. The one goes as well. Now, if the one's got a full pocket, it's pretty good. And you need to get it anyway. And you can tell if he shoots the 15, he may have to go into some balls. And that from now here. You can see the way they lay with the five going in the side that uh, he's got no problems. Is he going to draw for a break ball in the eight a little bit here? No, I think he's got a break with the ten. But he did that too. The main thing was get the six. Get the six, the 13, the three. Oh, now he's going to shoot this ball upstream there. Sitting pretty good. Go yeah, ahead. If it's sitting okay, I think that's all right. Now, the 15, does it go easily in the side, or does he need to get above the 15 at some time? He could shoot it in the upper corner, but... It's a pretty extreme cut. Yeah, that's why I might I might leave the five. I don't know, if, unless he's thinking about going... If he, Has he got the easy angle to go up and get on the 15 now? No, he's not going to take that so. chance. Yeah. So here's just pinch it back, back a little bit. back to the six. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oof. No, uh-oh. Well, there was a little uh-oh. Well, he brushed the rail. And, and it wasn't it. an oh, no. It was just an uh-oh. No just big an, deal. A little oh, oh All right. Don't you just knock the six in and come across for the three and then... No, shoot the 13 next, I believe. And then you just... Six, 13, then the three. Okay. It's okay. no big deal. You could do it many ways now. Well, I was kind of liking the 14 as a break ball. That's why I was thinking I might shoot the six first because then I could get on the... 15 to shoot the 8 and fall right behind that 14. I mean, the 8's pretty good, too, though. So now he's going to have to come behind something, right, when he shoots the 6? Or what's he going to do? Go over to the 15? Get in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 15, if you're close, it's going to be a good show. Where's he going? Oh, he wanted to get out the 15 for some reason. Well, he got pretty far. Does he have the six? No. Yeah. I'm a little shocked by that. Now, if he can just hold his ball in the 15, he could draw to the back side of the 14, but that's not very nice either. He'd probably just use the eight then to fall in the 14. Well, he could. Yeah. The, big, the easy part of this is stopping the cue ball. Good shot. 
Oh, yeah. Is, do you try to play for the eight in the side where you can drop to the back of the 14 with that know. angle? That's tricky. I, I it think. is a little tricky for sure. I agree. What do you think? What else you like? I like shooting the 14 up the corner. And then just playing for the eight ball? Right. So does he. So you're exactly right he does, and I think that's correct. Simple, simple, simple. Especially he only needs 12 from here, so... Well, he didn't get much angle to do that. Does he want to stick there and shoot the eight in the side and break him that way? Oh, maybe. We haven't seen that one. I think that's going to be easier than getting an angle on the eight here. He got pretty straight. Well, if he intended on going forward to play for the eight, he uh, that's a mistake there, not he getting the angle. Stop there and shoot the eight in the side. Yeah, he's only got to rub the bottom of the rack and get a shot. He doesn't have to have a huge explosion. He'll get a, he'll get get him open again, most likely. I would think. I think he's trying to do too much with this ball. He's going to try to go forward somehow. I think he just stopped nah. there and shoot the eight in the side. That's what he's doing, no doubt about it. And just don't draw back now. You do want a little angle. Just stop. Good. Mm. Perfect. He got pretty fat there. No, he's okay. I'm not saying he can't hit the rack, but it's almost like he's not thin enough to get to the bottom of the rack, of the side well, of the rack and he's not thick enough to get to the top of the rack. So what's the side of the rack do to you? Just kind of make wanted, sure you put a lot of stroke on he it? He wanted an angle and an easy shot. That's what happened. He could have got more angle and the shot would have been tougher. Yeah, but even only, needing, even only needing 11, he can't afford to not get out. You can see Darren 109. So he's going to want to go get after this and get on to the center of the table off the side of the rack, I think. Yeah, that's what I was afraid oh, of, boy. Danny. I just didn't like it. It looked like You're he right. was going into the middle. and He it got just, too straight on it. Yeah, I would have rather had more cut. No, I'm going to get to the bottom balls. Uh, well, don't forget. Is an apple on a foul? Uh, yeah. I think he is on a foul. That's important. Very important. He knows it, too. I wonder, no, I don't know if Corey knows it or not. He did. He took a scratch. I know, but does he still know that Darren's That's on a foul? That's why he did it. Why would he take a scratch if he didn't know? Now, do we have that marked? I'm sure he's run some now. Well, he's going to be on two now. We're going to see. Yeah, but. Get him on two. He, he does have it marked. Cosmo's on his game. Yeah, I see it. That's it. Yeah. Well, One, he's two on fouls. two. He's going to take three and then try to break safe. And you can see it in the upper right. Now he's going to re-break the balls. And really a lot of pressure on the break shot. And your opponent only needs 12. I mean, I mean, you can see it doesn't matter if they might. If they need 150, there's a lot of pressure on it, but. Corey's feeling good right now. Yeah. He didn't hit the break shot bad. I think it was just uh, he was running a little uphill the angle he had. You're right. He needed a little more angle and a tougher shot, but he wanted to have something he could cinch, and he did. Yeah, and it was weird how the angles work. If he's a little more full and he can get to the top of the rack, he's going to shake something loose and get to the middle of the, uh, middle of the end rail. If he's a little thinner where he can get to the bottom of the rack, he's going to get underneath and get a shot. So it just kind of felt a little bad for him. Well, he's in a pretty good spot right now, but you got to make the ball that you shoot now. If you get a shot, I mean, a couple of the guys that broke the balls really well, leaving like super he, tough gonna, shots. He's going to get a shot. I think I think I would like to. Uh, you would have to guess so. I would like to think most of the guys have been giving up some type of shot. Yeah, and that's going to be a little weak and give him a shot on the nine. Cue ball speed is great. With position too. Yeah, with position now. It'll... Well, you remember in this spot well, he yesterday didn't... he missed he missed the ten ball with. Ocolo? Excuse me? Remember he missed the 10 ball in this spot with, with Dennis? Oh, yeah. yeah. Similar. It is similar. Yeah. Now, he, uh, 
He didn't drive two balls to the rail plus the cue ball now, Danny, and so he's, he's back. He's on two. Yeah. He's on two then. I don't think he can afford to pass this, though. I think he's going to oh, shoot he's it. he's got to shoot it, yeah. You don't want Darren to shoot it. Yeah. And you, he, you don't want Darren to shoot anymore. Well, the thing is, it offers position on the one. If he he's going to make this. Yeah, if he doesn't get a great angle, he'll have the one to get to the 12 at, at bare minimum. So all about making this one, and that ain't going to do it. Oh, he, he missed it just like the 10 yesterday. Oh, boy. That's what I said. He's got to make the ball after the break. Now, do you take a chance on the one here drawn into the two? Is it worth that? There's a lot I of, don't think he the, has to. Yeah, there's a lot of congestion. A little risky. He but can go right into the pile, cutting the nine. That's what I like. Uh, maybe. Yeah, you're going to have to hit those balls anyway. Yeah, I'm you're trying. You're not going to miss the nine. Go right into the balls with speed. Well, he almost got a scratch, and he may not get a shot. Oh, yeah, look at this. I don't know if he got a shot, ladies and gentlemen. Is dead? No, the two ain't dead. He's got a cut on the 10 in the side is all. I believe is all. I don't think he can get at the edge of the 11. He's no, I got, think uh, he's got the 12. No, the, yeah. I think he can cut, cut the 12. Oh, you're right. That's the shot, Danny. I'm pretty sure he can get at that. And it's awfully thin, but it's, a, it's one that he's going to make at a high rate. He's close to it. Yeah, if he sees it. I don't even know if he sees it. I think he sees it. Well, I don't think he sees it if he's shooting the 10. I think... I think uh, it happens occasionally, but you overlook a shot. You're right. He's overlooking it. Yeah, because he's I pretty mean. pretty thin anyway, but he's close to it. Well, the 10's more of a cut, but. Oh, maybe the 10 has him hooked to. Maybe the 10 has him. No, he's looking at it now, and I think that's the shot. No, he's going for the 10. So maybe the 10 has him cut off from the 12. Could be. That's the only possibility. Now, he's got to. Either roll this in, which maybe scratches off the 12, or draw down for the one. Okay, he got by it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Using every bit of the pocket there. Never a doubt. No, and I think that was somewhat uh, intended so he could get by the one with the cue ball. Now the main thing for him, just get to the next shot. There's not a lot of choices, so just get to the one you definitely can, whether that even be the 14 up long or the 12 up long if he can't cheat the well, hole. Well, he got a, he got rewarded for taking two scratches or three scratches. He got rewarded. Doesn't he need to just get his shot on the 14 here, Danny, and maybe he gets the 11 in the side? Don't take any chances, right? He draws I, into I these balls. I think the two is dead, too. And what if he... Ooh, oh, yeah, what's that's, this? Ooh, he's got the 11, though. He's got the 8 also. Whew. Funny, isn't it? It's like the balls have brains. Yeah, cruel ones. Sometimes it's when it starts going against you. He's got the 11, he's got the 8. Yeah, but he just fouled the ball. So he's got to be thinking of that, you know, because he, well, he, he's not going to bridge this real well. I think he's got to cut that 11 a little bit, too. So he's wondering, really, what am I falling on now? I don't think the 8 passes the 5. He could follow forward a little bit and get it thin on the 13 or the 12, whatever that is. That's why you saw him really, wow, look at why this. Why did he whack it? Well, he just figured he was in a funny spot. So he didn't know where he was diving to. So he figured he would try and rearrange the furniture a little bit. Move the balls around a little bit. Oh, he's got the 12. I'll tell you what, pretty impressive hitting it in with that speed, though, after fouling earlier, <laughs> like you were talking about. He the was 13. right next to the 3. He's got the yeah. 13. Yeah. One thing about the 13 is he should have at least the 15 next, maybe the 5. I don't think the 14 passes. It doesn't. He's got the 5. Still got a lot of work. He's got a little bit of a funny congestion uh, with the 364 and the 27. Does they have the angle to naturally go to get to the back of the three to, in the side pocket, Danny? Maybe. That looks pretty natural, and if you don't just get it get how you want, you can have the eight in the side as well. I think the two is dead. 
I mean, it's not straight in, but you, it's shootable. Oh, he clipped it. Well, he's wondering what's going on here. I'm, I'm always ending up a little funny. Well, he hasn't been daring in, in all week. Yeah, he'll be okay, though, and he's got to shoot the 12 for sure. No reason to roll that 14 in the side. The 12 is just as easy, and the 14 sets up nice for a break if you can get through the rack. Now he's pretty ideal on the 8, where he, I think it's okay to take a chance going into the balls. What do you think? I don't, I don't think you go into the balls. No? Well, that's not going into the balls. Break yeah. them. Yeah, just lightly. Right. Okay, now the, now's the time to figure out the path you want to take, and it's probably going to be open. yeah, it's probably going to be the six, but maybe the fourteen. So you fall behind the three. Yeah, run the balls and shoot the fourteen. And yeah, just go ahead and get on the three now. That opens up everything you want to do, no matter which way you want to go. So. He's saving for the six, it appears. They're both pretty similar, though, you can see. Not only in color, but they both sit, uh, the 14 and the six, they both sit pretty equal on both sides of the rack. He needs to have a nice speed on the cue ball here, though, huh? Yeah, he wants to get straight in on the 15, which he did. Yeah, ideal. Let's go forward a little bit. And a big miss by Duel at 138 to 104 now. Well, as far as I could see, this means a thousand to Darren, but I don't think he can get to the finals. He's got two losses, and one of them he got blanked. Yeah, he would probably have to have... Okay, there is a scenario I see, but he would... And I'm not sure... Well, he's got some points here, but it, if he was to go on and win here, okay, that would make him 2-2. Two and two. Mm -hmm. That would make Corey 2-2. Two and two. Okay, now if Appleton opens up, he opens up tomorrow... The, at noon. Now, if he was to do some devastating to feeler, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like really, if he was to run, uh, you know. <laughs> Wait, I'd hate to I'd hate to borrow money off playing filler tomorrow. Right. I mean, he's been he's played well, but I mean, we've seen the some some guys not get to shoot, and we've seen guys that had, had struggled a little bit turn it on. So, but the scenario is if Appleton. Uh, Puts filler in his chair for the most of the match, and, or maybe all the matches, what he might need. I don't know. Well, that puts it in a spot where Shane Van Boning can play spoiler to Corey Duell and do the same thing to Corey, maybe yeah. put on an exhibition. And then it, and then he'll also need, I guess, uh, Shaw to beat Orcullo bad also because Orcullo, he's in a good spot as well. So... Well, Shaw is playing but real Dennis well. But Dennis is two and two also. So no, if if De if Jason just beats Dennis, Dennis will be two and three. Can't get in. If Appleton beats Filler bad, that's what that's uh, that's what Appleton will need, and then he'll need Van Boning to beat Duel, and Duel will have a two and three record, and Darren will slip right on into the finals. Um, also, no that. I'm looking at it even more so now, uh, Danny. Uh, I had my records a little mixed up. Josh was two and two also. So if, if Darren was to win here and go on to beat Filler, Filler would be two, two and three. three, and it wouldn't matter about the points so much. Also, if you're right, if Shane Van Boning was to go on and beat, uh, oh, he's got to get out. If he was to go on and beat Duel, they'll all be two and three as well. So Darren would slip on into the finals with a win tonight and a win tomorrow. So 
Not as much as we thought for it to unfold for Dynamite Darren Appleton. Well, I want to see what he does first before I start getting the, the figures. Let's see if Darren wins. If he loses, forget it. Right, but it's not all for naught, that's for sure. Well, he's going to have a chance. He's got to get at that nine, you can see. Oh, yeah, he's got a whole big room to get to that. Can he if go he, right by the, the, can he go right by the 15 shooting the two and hit the eight right here? He could. Everything goes, uh, meaning if he glances off of it and goes by it, uh, the 14 goes in the corner. He's got, it's close. Yeah, that's what he's looking at now. The main thing is don't catch it pretty full on either side. He should be okay. You don't figure he could get to the bottom of it. All right, he's going to take a little more guaranteed route, it appears, and just cut the nine, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah, you got to get the nine out of there. Yeah. And he's got an angle, now to fall in on any. He could fall into 14 if he wants. Yeah, he's going to try and save that 14 to get on that 15 break. I believe anyway. Well, he can get there other ways, you know. Yeah, he could shoot the eight last with, his, with the 14 right. being there. With the 14 being there, that's a nice way to play tidy position. So here oh. he's just perfect, and I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's going to shoot the five, the seven, the 14, the eight, and get on the 15. Yeah, right now, don't move the cue ball anymore. Like Danny said, five, seven, 14, eight, and then the 15. Uh, he went over. Now, don't get elevated. Plans have uh -oh. to change if you get elevated. Uh-oh. Right. He just, he's thinking of fouling. He fouled. Well, oh, now he's got to, I think, still try to bridge and get down on this cue ball and hit it with a little English so he can come across and get on the 15. So he'll have to cue this with just a little bit of left. Make the cue ball check and come back a little bit more full on the Wow. He's fine. Whoa. Wow. What happened? He's conceding, it looks like. Uh, it's a frustrated individual in him. Again. Yeah. Well, that's a record. Corey won two matches that way. Yeah, and wow. I think, well, coincidentally, he needed 12 both times. But, ladies and gentlemen, Corey Duell will go on to a 3-1 record right now and con controls on destiny. I'm Jeremy Jones with AccuStat Video Productions. Uh, thank you again, Danny, and everyone have a good night.